Thank you, Mel. I'll just go through the results of the first round. Uh, number one, Amanda Nicholas, winner of the Welsh Merit, 18. Number two, Carol Matthews, winner of the Staffordshire Merit, 21. Number three, Sue Pugh, winner of the Dudley and District Merit and the George Pritchett Memorial Classic, 21. Number four, Nicola Bolton, winner of the Mid Cheshire Merit and the BCGB LBA Merit, 18. Number five, Anita Manfield, winner of the Burton and District Merit, 21. Number six, Jean Wambron, winner of the Cheshire Merit, 17. M number seven, Katrina Earle, winner of the Cynthia Tong Memorial and Waterloo Ladies Open, 21. Number eight, Lindsay Gorman, winner of the Isle of Man September Festival, 9. Number nine, Sandra Assels, winner of the Will Merit, 8. Number 10, Melissa Herbert, winner of the Lady on the Green Grange Classic, 21. Number 11, Sarah Fox, winner of the South Yorkshire Merit, 21. Number 12, Zoe Parker, winner of the BCGB LBA Junior Merit, 7. Number 13, Carlene Doody Millington, Castletown Ladies Open, 21. Number 14, Jessica Wernham, the Liz Dooney Cup, 12. Number 15, Tracy Mosley, South Derbyshire Merit, 21. Number 16, Holly Bishton, Shropshire Merit, 16. Number 17, Kath Garnett, the North Langton Filed Merit, New Longton Open and Talbot Ladies Open winner, 21. Number 18, Pat Houston, Winner of the New Brighton Tournament, 8. Number 19, Karen Galvin. Winner of the Fleetwood Bowls Festival, 21. Number 20, Margaret Shaw. Winner of the Greater Manchester Merit, 10. Number 21, Alma Cornthwaite. Winner of the Lancashire Merit, 21. Number 22, Dawn Bray. Yorkshire Merit winner, 19. Number 23, Anna Laughlin. Winner of the Stretton Singles held in the spring 21 number 24 Vicky Buckley North Warwickshire Merit winner 12 number 25 Pam Nixon North Derbyshire Merit 15 number 26 Carol Verdon winner of the North Midlands Merit 21 number 27 Julie Alderman the South Staffordshire Merit 21 number 28 Janet Monk Alan Man Merit 19 Number 29, Donna Bennett, North Shropshire Merit, 17. Number 30, Alexis Lund Gad, winner of the Alaman June Festival, 21. Number 31, Emma Thornton, winner of the Cumbria Merit, 21. Number 32, Julie Best, winner of the SL Blackpool Spring Festival, 16. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for paying attention. I will now hand you back to the commentary box for the wise and sage words of Andrew Cairns and Alan Palin. Thank you, Steve. Uh, yeah, uh, up in the commentary, we're going to pick up um, this second round game uh, between Kath Garnett and uh, Karen Galvin. As it stands, uh, Kath Galvin leading 11 6. What are your, what are your thoughts, Ant? Good afternoon, just a bit taken aback about the sage words really, but there you go, well, welcome back to the Waterloo after yesterday's classic day out, uh, Simon Cope the winner, we're now at the Ladies Champion of Champions and if you thought the Ryder Cup was the only place you'd see visors and golf clubs you'd be uh, mistaken, there's plenty on show here this afternoon. There is. Um, non in show on, uh, in the game we're watching of course, but... Uh, both very good players. Uh, Karen, as Mel and Lynn said in their, their intro, she's won this three times and won virtually everything in the game. You look at her CV, it's ridiculously good. She's only won the Waterloo four times and the Fleetwood Festival six times. So, uh, not, a, not a bad CV, really. And uh, Kath Garnett, she's been around a long number of years. Uh, that's a, a nice way of putting it, putting it I hope. And she's competed at a very high level for that time as well. Um, I remember her back in the day qualifying for the Bass Masters and uh, putting a certain Ken, Arm Ken Armitage out and uh, only just lost to, to John Bancroft, I think, in the uh, the second game. So it's uh, it's looking like a good game, this. I've uh, I've been watching a little bit of it. They've been putting them reasonably close. The, 
the green's running again, just like it was yesterday. There's a lot of pace over the middle of the green and, and around the edges. Um, and putting them close isn't that easy, but there's been, there has been some good bowling, and, and there's another one there. What a tremendous lead. Yeah, it has. Um, as we said with the men's uh, yesterday, uh, the green you know, for the Waterloo is running surprisingly quick. Um, yeah, and the women, are, they're, they're playing it very, very well. Some of the early games which have which have gone on, which uh, which Mel uh, commented on earlier, um, some some good games that have already gone. Uh, Katrina Earl, fantastic game. Um, another game uh, of note was uh, Melissa Herbert. She won very very well. It was also a, a very uh, very lengthy first round game between Sue Pugh and Nicola Bolton. I think it finished 21-18 to Sue Pugh, and the game, the game lasted one hour 25 minutes which is probably some sort of record for 21 up I would imagine at this stage of the game. Yeah. Again another uh, another good game between two good players. Uh, back to the the game we're just concentrating on Karen's wanting to know how many it is she wants to play through. She's a very very good player. She uh the the best way I can describe it, she she plays the game almost like, you know, the same way as a man would. She's always Keen to be to be up and at them, playing positive bowls, which is uh, something a lot of the ladies, you know, you don't see a lot of. Mm. Then they like to try and beat six-inch bowls, and well, it's not really the right shot. No, correct. Yeah, it's having a go. Very, very nice left-handed delivery. Just, just tight, I think. Just changed, changed bias. Obviously, only one if she's she's stuck at it. But a very nice left-handed delivery. I've yeah. always liked it. Seems to be around an awful long time, does Kevin? She's, uh, like I say, she's she's won everything there is. It's uh, she's done it all. I cast the lead out. Um, eight, eleven. Yeah, I was watching a, a game earlier on. This is sort of a, a favoured length, about thirty-five-ish metres. Are we in metres today? Are yeah. We're we, we converting to the metric system yeah. at last. Uh, I suppose after 40 odd years we should really get, get used should, to yeah. it, shouldn't we? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, played a decent lead here. Yeah, it's very good. Kevin stroke that one out. Mine looks yeah. okay. Sorry, just a bit too quick, I think. It's only going to yeah, go past the jack. Out. Yeah, it's been tricky as we watched the men's uh, yesterday. The over the middle, um, very very easy to just go a yard, two yards through. I mean, lots um, in the men's games yesterday. There was a lot of people which uh, playing Waterloo, which we didn't see a lot of playing from the the corners up to the centre of the, the green, which seemed really really difficult to play. Yeah, it's, it's actually quicker. It's actually quicker going up to the crown than it is going into yeah. the corner, which is uh, a little bit back to front. But uh, it did catch a lot of people out yesterday. Yeah. Uh, we noticed it a lot, didn't we? At yeah. One, at one stage, there was three or four blocks in there, right in the middle of the green. This needs a hit. Oh, just the wrong side Dead. of it. Hard lines. Again, it was travelling. It was definitely well, going to going to go a yard or so further than that. That's a nice little break, this from Cass. He's getting her right back in the game. 10 11. Looking like Karen was going to pull away. She just uh, battled back. I think it, I think for the ladies, especially, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's leveled the, the field up a bit. Sometimes you come here for this competition and you can almost discount 10 or 15 of the field just because they can't physically reach Re the corners. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, that's not being disrespectful to the ladies. The green, you know, when it's heavy, when it's wet, not everyone's cup of tea. People can't physically reach. But today, the, the, it's a nice, just a nice send in the corners. You can stroke them out, lovely. Yeah. Um, it is a, a nice, nice level of today. Yeah, you're right. Because people uh, tend to do that. Some of the, the ladies, who, as you say, who can reach, will throw it out on here. Um, Karen, Karen especially, she's an excellent corner yep, player. She's yep. uh, she's one of the ladies I 
I've, I've never played, thankfully, but I'm sure if, if we did, I know exactly where she'd be taking me. It'd be <laughs> right in them. <laughs> just, uh, again, right-handed, left-handed. Right. It's easy. Easy just to put them off the road, but Karen's found it with this. A very good reply. Good ball, yeah. Karen. Again, a bit warm in here. It is. Had to take my cap off. I think with the, the, the ladies' game as well, I'd rather see you see an odd, uh, odd ladies all, uh, all run bowls in, but uh, but not very many. So we say uh, do it a bit more to bring a little bit more excitement. Yeah, I don't think we'll see a lot of sprinting after bowls today, <laughs> unfortunately, but uh, we can't have everything. This looks a bit to back now. Yeah, just too far, isn't it? Can't quite see who's on. I think uh, I think Karen's on, on with that, yeah. that short ball. I think it's all about concentration today. Very easy just to over overplay. And again, because of the the size of the green, you know, as we we spoke yesterday, you know, if if your uh, preferred length is whether it's whether we call it meters or yards. Uh, 20, 22, 25 yards. You always end up playing 35 yards in here. That's right. Well, oh, that's 12, 10 to Karen. Yeah, going where you said, I think. She's going, uh, headed for the for the pub corner. Yeah, it's the heaviest, heaviest part of the green. She didn't get out that, that ball particularly well, which is unusual for her. She normally strokes them out. We'll just finish that. Maybe big yard, five feet short. Not just not just near enough, I wouldn't have thought, against Cass. She's an excellent player. A decent indoor player too. I remember playing a long number of years ago when I was uh, 18, 19 years old. She, uh, she used to be a, a dab hand at that game as well. Yep, got in. Karen will, will just be wanting a yard of running, that's all she needs. It's be a good ball with a yard in. Just dragging it up with that left hand. Yep, further. Just needs to stop now. Yeah, it has done. Just, yeah, just gone in. Just underneath. She, she obviously wanted to avoid her own ball. Her, her first ball was bang on the road. And she she could have could have afforded to run in the back of it, but... Uh, Stirred on the side of caution. It's maybe a two and a half foot wide ball to beat now for Kath. Yes. Pace is looking good. Yes, if she yeah. can miss that ball, big song and a dance that. Yeah, yeah good ball. It, yeah, good shot. Something I found last year when we when we did this, I struggled judging a a running ball and and. When I looked into it, I noticed that they, they were generally playing with smaller balls than than I'm used to looking at. Yeah. But uh, in this game, the Cameron's playing with, with uh, two ten tailors, and uh, Cass playing with two eights, and uh, they, they seem to be running nice today. They, you can judge your running ball very easily. It's just uh, around the, the brown parts in the centre of the green where they're trickling a little bit. Yeah, wide range. Um, I mean, we obviously have a, a list of the players um, to get our information from, and they've got their bowls on there. And these people play with just with two pounders, two twos. Mm. You know, barely, uh, barely bigger than the jack. Very hard to judge those. Yes, yeah. very hard. Pretty much like nowadays, uh, the, the coloured bowls, yeah, um, or the silicon bowls, as people call them. Um, they're never very heavy, and they they're so hard to judge going across the green. Well, last year, Helen Gilroy, uh, last year's winner, she was playing with some tiger strike balls. Oh, yes, balls, I remember it? that. Oh, they were dreadful. You yeah. couldn't couldn't see where they were going, them things. And they, like you say, the, uh, I think they're called crystallite or crystallate balls now, the uh, the see-through ones. A lady was playing with those earlier, and they just run forever. Yeah, they, they look like cod liver oil capsules. I actually have a pair myself, have you know. You? Yeah, yeah. I only use them in it when it's wet and heavy, but uh, you can reach the moon and back yeah. with them. They're great on every greens. On, I wouldn't even entertain them on here. Yeah. I mean, a, a year or so ago, Paul Angry Emmings, <laughs> he had a pair, and they were they were clear. The, the clear ones, yeah. I had and a they, pair. They, they were two pounders, and oh, they used to go on for forever. I had a pair of them as well. 
I quickly sold them. <laughs> How many sets have you had? Well, uh, Kevin's just failed to make two there, just one to Kevin. Uh, well, when my girlfriend uh, Kevin moved in with me uh, back in April, I had to move out all my balls from my conservatory. And your trainers? And my trainers, my 50 pairs of trainers, they're <laughs> all up in the loft. The things I do for love. Anyway. <laughs> must be love. It must be. The, uh, in in my, my dad's uh, garage now, there's, I think, 27 pairs of balls. Dearie, mate. Uh, <laughs> that uh, I don't use or have used, um, but don't use anymore, so... Yeah, Karen, uh, ch change of tactics here. She's uh, she's won the end, uh, going straight across the the middle of the green to the north stand. About again, thirty-ish meters. Yeah, very quick part. It'll, yeah. it'll definitely reach the jack now. Finish maybe eighteen-inch pass. Not a bad lead yeah. where it is. And she'll just be hoping to catch Gath out with uh, with a, a left hand, really, hoping that she'll uh, drag this ball tight to the jack. She hasn't done. Right. No, she's she's on a road. She's too far missing. Can't stop unless it hits. It has gone in. Needed yeah, it. It did. It was uh, going a, a yard, even maybe a bit further. Just needs to take a little bit of running out. The road was right. The road looks good here. Looks good. Yeah, and good it looks a good length. Well. Yeah, good bowl here. Excellent bowl. Great reply. Yeah, good ball. against it. Good position, really, now for for Karen. If Kath attacks the end, the the, the Jack might just go but to her back ball. It's a, it's a good shot, this. Yeah, or she could, uh, or even hit her own. I think uh, I think I'd be striking on the thumb peg. Personally, but uh, yeah, oh, yeah. Gonna... maybe she heard me. Yeah. Well. Just let it go. Close, so you know. It, Close. It. Oh, she's hit Got it. it. Is it going to go off? No, no. No, no stopping on. Um, Karen's first bowl at the back. I think oh, it's no. going to be the, it's be, it's be the counting bowl. He was nearly picking that up then. What's going on? Well, it was nearly carnage it was. then. It was. <laughs> it was nearly carnage. That ref was nearly, nearly going to get smacked. He still wants to pick it up now, look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one to Karen. Makes that 14-11. Jack in hand. Will she go here? Will she go back across the middle of the green? Will she try and throw a, throw a distance? Oh, well, going off the last end, I think she'll go, go back, back across. across it, yeah. She's looking towards that northwest corner. Oh, yeah. Shortening Short, it. Yeah. Yeah, total change of tactics here. Yeah. Very quick part. There's probably ten yards of brown that they're going through there. A bit of bit of green, I and mean, then she's just letting that off her fingers. Yeah, isn't she? yeah. There's there's not a lot of effort being. And she's over sent it. She's overplayed it. Yeah. She knew as soon as she'd sent it, she'd she'd put too much into well, it. When she when she let that jack go in your mind, then you thought that that's barely going to make a length. Yeah. It's actually gone well over twenty five meters. This is over as well. Yeah, it's not going to be yeah, a good one any time yeah. soon. Just stuck Maybe, in. Yeah. Yeah, just, just stayed in. Just stayed in. Now she just needs to dribble this off the fingers. Look better, that. It's yeah, good. it's adjusted well here. That's a good shot. You should see the ball now bend. Bend with the bias down to the jack. Just needs to finish. Yeah, finished about 18 inch, two two foot away. Now, Kath, what can Kath do? Can she adjust? Yeah, they're running out. That's what she needs. She's a good line. Yeah. Very good line. Good pace as well. Yeah, good, good ball. Good ball, Kath. Yeah, excellent reply. To the mat now, 12-14. It's actually from the, from the games I've watched today, that, that's been a bit of a... Bit of a thing that's been happening. The, the first balls, you know, been a little bit of finding your range, and then there's been some excellent second balls yeah. played. Have really learnt from from what they've been doing with the first, which uh, you know is a sign that hopefully for the next next few rounds, yeah, the, some the, good games. There yeah. should be some good games coming up. 
I've actually got an apology to make, by the way. Yes. I forgot about this. I, I've got pulled up on it. If if you were watching yesterday, I, I said that there was a bit of noise in the Plenderleaf oh, yes. Cope semi-final, and, and it was a certain Katrina Earl who, who was making all the noise. Well, it wasn't. It was one of her friends. So I did say I'd apologise when I got the chance, and I'd do it live and air, and, I, and there you go. There's the apology, Katrina. I won't say who it was. They'll have to live with themselves. Um, so apologies to Katrina, and I'm sure we'll be watching her later on. Uh, the way she's played so far, I can't see past her at the minute, but there you go. Yeah, she's played very well, uh, especially her second game. She went corner to corner and very rarely put anything you know, more than a, a couple of feet away. I'll be yeah. honest with you, it was a bit like watching Brian Duncan in his pomp. Yes. Apart from it, it was a little bit easier on the eye. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, the lady uh, you were in, inferring to, which wasn't Katrina, um, she did give Darren some uh, <laughs> some stick yesterday. She, she did indeed. She really did. I was uh, having, having a break and I was standing not far from her and she was really letting into him. Well, two good balls there from Cass. He's going to get... Going to get uh, yes, playing a runner. Karen rambling yeah. through. Any she's connection? A she's up. Oh, yes. Yeah, not the jack off the green. Yeah. Nullified end. Castle set the mark again. The, the jack will be uh, placed a metre from the uh, the edge of the green. Sorry, the mat will be placed a metre from the edge of the green. Well, it should be, but it probably won't be. No. I don't think anybody really does abide uh, by that rule. I have actually seen somebody get it measured. Have you? I've actually seen somebody uh, watch their opponent send the jack out and send a ball out and then call the referee over and complain that the mat was within a metre of the edge of the green and the ball and jack were returned after a measure. Now then, you don't see that very often. Oh, Deary me, no. I just thought it was worth a, a passing comment and for you to come with a reply like that. Well, you have surprised me. Well, You're a wealth of, uh, of knowledge. Some of the things I've seen you wouldn't believe. <laughs> I bet. We won't go into those on no. a Sunday lunchtime. <laughs> well, Cass stuck with this. I'd say it's, it's, nearly, it's nearly nearly 30 yards, that. She's stuck with yeah, this Right mark. into the dry, finishes where yeah. it's dry as well. Kevin doesn't like bare. this. It's going to run a little bit. It's, it won't be as bad as she thought, but it will go out. Look at it trickle. Yeah. Look at that. Never see it do that there, do you? Not usually. Never. I think I could play on here today. <laughs> I don't think I qualify like, but there you go. This is a better road. I, she might have overcorrected unless it starts trickling. Still Sneeze. going. Mm, not sure. See, slightly smaller ball than Karen's. It didn't just run as well. Road was absolutely perfect. This is a better road. Should just be inside it. Yeah, good ball, Karen. Real good. Real good yeah, correction. Good yeah, good ball. Difficult part of the green there. She'll stay short now. Or oh, go back. Go back into the. Uh, or go back into the corners. Ask me one on geography. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not yep, much one to Karen it. then, 15, 12 to the mat. Well, she's looking up towards that pub corner. No, I think she's there. Uh, yeah, it's straight over the middle of the middle of the green. Yeah, good tactic again. Left hander versus right hander. Yeah. Very easy to, to get people off the road. It's a tactic I use a lot when I'm playing left-handers. Yeah, I think uh, most people do with a, a little bit of experience, don't they? Just well, I probably think um, left-handers probably try and do it more against right-handers. That's right. Rather than vice versa. I personally think they should be banned. Yes, I do too. Yeah. Well. As we know, well. Mel Evans is uh, he's listening somewhere. Red caps and left handed. Yes. Should be banned. Lynn's, Lynn's, Lynn's tittering over Lynn, here. She's what, sorry? <laughs> tittering. <laughs> right. What you were saying then? Yep, 
Yeah, Karen. She's, she's trotting after this. You can tell it's a little bit short, yeah. It's not made it. Just consulate walk across there. She's going to have a look, see who's in. Well, they're not good ones. Kath just needs to take a couple of yards of running out. If, Kath, if Karen counts these, she'll be very fortunate. Can't see it she's, myself. Um, so she's not really sure. She's sort of waved her arms a little bit and I think she was sort of saying she thinks she's two, but... Is this too far? It's, it's definitely too far. It won't stop any time soon. Yeah, she's well. taken nothing out. Well. well probably the worst end uh, we've seen in the match so far. You get two here, this will uh, be a significant break now. No, not a good end from Kath. Kevin won't mind, though. They'll, they all look the same, same on the card. They do. A famous old saying. Mm. I but, never counted one like that. No. I've never counted one that far off, ever. <laughs> Even when yeah. I played Lynn Pritchett, I never yeah, counted right. any that far off. Yeah, call for measures. I think there's a... Uh, I'm going to measure all of them here. Yeah. Uh, could yeah, get they're you. looking, they don't know which ones to... They could get you to run between them and they, could. they could time you. <laughs> yeah. Well, is it not fairly straightforward, the one against the two? two. I mean, yeah. it's not... Unbel unbelievable it's not times, isn't it? It's not rocket science. Unbelievable scenes. Always cracks me up that the refs come on. What are we measuring? Yeah. The ones that look like a measure. <laughs> yeah. If you don't mind. Yeah. <clears throat> well, one of different. Karen's is in, I think. Yeah. Up to yeah, Arm significant pick job. break now. That's uh, seventeen twelve to Karen. Yeah, that was a big end that. If uh Kath had got in, thirteen fifteen, not so bad. You're only an M behind, but uh, that was an opportunity missed and uh, I think she could end up ruining that. What do you uh, thoughts of yesterday's uh, games towards the end then, Andy? Semi-finals, final? I, I thought the semi-finals were the, two of the best games I've ever seen on the green. They, 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 they were had brilliant. everything. They had they? everything, and the crowd loved it. They were they were bubbling away. It was it was tremendous. Final was a little bit of an anticlimax. Steve Should, Murray seemed to have his uh, his final in the semi, didn't he? Yeah. I, I felt a bit for him. He didn't do an awful lot wrong and he came up against a guy who, who put in as good a performance as anyone I've seen in a final. Yeah. Going um, down to the pub end corner, he was immaculate, Simon was. Yeah. Immaculate. Um, and the last time I, you know, I've seen a performance like that on the green was, was back in Duncan's pomp. So, you know, I thought... I thought we had uh, a, a really good day of bowls yesterday, and I just hope this today can, uh, you know, the the ladies can follow suit, and there's no reason why they can't. This is a real effort. Oh, hard lines, Kevin. Just gone round. Hit the side of a bowl. And don't forget, we like to be interactive. There's, uh, we've got Twitter, we've got Facebook, we've got text messages. Feel free to contact us, and uh, if you any. Any views, anything you want to talk about, we'll try and fit it in. I've already had Darren Plenderleaf berated me for my view on banning left-handers. So <laughs> Fantastic. I'm, I'm amazed he's awake, to be honest. I thought he might still be in a drunken yeah, I coma saw, after yesterday. I saw some uh, a few messages um, last night, um, just gutted, um, losing 21-20 in the... Champion of Champions semi final. Right, it's one to Kath there. Scores being 13 17 on the mat. A couple of important ends coming up now for, for yeah. Kath. If she can make a couple of leads, you know, she's, she's still in the game. That, but uh, time's running out. She needs to start leading. Oh, she's got it out nice. 
Got it out nice. Road's looking okay. Just needs to run a bit now. Just needs to yeah, run a bit. It's going to be a uh, yard, maybe just over six foot short. Not a great lead. Phones are buzzing now. Yeah. Messages coming through. I, c I can't read Mr. Plenderleaf's last message. It's. Uh, I think I need to give him the uh, <laughs> number for the Samaritans, to be honest. <laughs> if somebody yeah. can get me that up, I'll read it out. Yeah. Well, Karen stepped in. She got. She saw the room, saw the opportunity. This Cass needs to is, run, Cass. This is short. Oh dear me! Doesn't he beat her first bowl? Perhaps. Yeah. No oh, dear. Not going in. It's not going to affect the end, I don't think. Karen's got to be a bit careful, but she can. She can win one to get another two yards wide. She can and be well outside third. those. In a winning position, she she is. She's left it. Might no. Yeah, left it. One to Karen. Make it 18 13. Yeah, the last few ends yesterday of the, 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 the Plenderlith game, I um, mean, he played brilliant on the, the edges of the green, didn't he? Oh, yeah, it was a, a fantastic game all the way through. Really enjoyed them, both of them. It was a shame. Uh, you shame had to we be a loser. Yeah, shame we couldn't show both of them either. Uh, you know, if we'd have had one game on at a time, we'd have been able to watch it all, yeah. but uh, not to be, unfortunately. Again, a shortish, um, shortish mark, maybe 25 metres. Kind of just going to uh, not a not a not a bad lead. She's just slipped a 18 inch, two foot perhaps. Very quick finish there. Yeah. Easy to to oversend. I mean, for people who, who haven't been to the uh, the Waterloo this season, it's 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 quite an amazing turnaround. Normally. You, you come and it's a bit pushy and a bit heavy, but uh, it's absolutely beautiful running today. Yeah, it doesn't it? Uh, as all the players have said, it uh, it plays a lot better than it looks because it actually looks quite rough. But it's uh, there's no, it's not bouncing, no. it's not smooth. Just a little bit difficult to play with the, the green and yeah. uh, and brown patches. This is a good ball, very, good, a very ball. good ball. Yeah, she should she should be lying should be lying game now really after yeah. the opportunity she had the last end, but. Uh, no, definitely two. Karen's just signalled. Yeah, she's just telling someone in the crowd I should be game now after that last end. Uh, put it behind you. And she's. And she, she's put her so faith I'm in the dead look. draw. Oh, it's gone through. Left them yeah. both. Two to Karen. She. Looks to the sky, as you said, Andrew. She should be game here. Yeah, should be off now. Should be going to the bar. Buying her pawn and half a lager. Instead, she's another end to play. At least another end to play. Yeah, back on the same mark. She stole that one out, lovely. I do like yeah, left-handed deliveries, even yeah. though they should be banned. It's um, a little bit like uh, football players, left-footed well, players. Yeah. Actually, they, they always yeah. seem to strike the ball well, don't they? I agree. And you're right, yeah, a nice left-handed delivery. looks looks classy, it doesn't does, it? Yeah. And then you get Mel Evans's, <laughs> which just looks like, well... Looks like Mel's delivery. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was a great, uh, great lead by uh, by Karen. I think they're calling they for call long, long tapes. tapes. That's a mark. Jeepers! Well, what's that? They will, <laughs> they will run out of tape there, <laughs> surely. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think I've travelled further to get here today, to be honest. But uh, well within your rights to have them measured. Yeah. Maybe she's just. Uh, you know, we might be wrong. The yeah. dimensions of the green may have changed. But if uh, if they don't run out of tape here, I'll be surprised. It could be a 30 metre tape. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Oh, it's like she got. Yeah, you see this. It's like you she got where yanked they, back then. Yeah, where they run off with the tape and it yeah. pulls out of oh. your hand. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Two metres. Yeah. 
plenty far enough. It actually looked further than that, didn't it? They always you know, that's, do. They're sort of saying that's that's 21, 21 yards. I mean, it actually looks further. I mean, to be fair, you've got to feel sorry for ladies because, you know, when it comes to dimensions, us men are always lying to them about it. <laughs> oh, she so. took it. Won it. Run, trailed the block. Well, she needed that. Kept her hopes of winning this game alive. What can Karen do? Can she just... Well, pace looks okay. Just needs to come round pace it now. Looks okay. What oh, a inside ball. it, what a ball. What a ball. I don't think there was room to get through there. Looking at the monitor, it's, and it's even a better picture there. That there's just no room for the ball to get through. Cast change peg, attacking it. She's close. Close. Oh, what a good it, ball. Yeah. Excellent ball. What a brilliant ball. Well, this is where uh, Karen, again, she should be off the green now. Uh, the, the score is 15-20 on the mat. Yeah, it'll just be going through her mind yeah. now. She'll be just going, oh, if only I'd have just sent that one a little bit further, give it a bit more to do. We've all been there, yeah. we all do it. Yeah, you can't think like that. you just got to forget about it, move on to the next end and just, just concentrate. Now it's Cass' turn to just ponder for a minute where she's going to go. Just mulling it all over. Going back in her memory banks to previous games where she's put them close. Where can she just outdo Karen with a with a delivery? Still Still just not sure. So there is an end in front of her as well. It's, it's, yeah, uh, sort of marooned him a little bit there. Yeah, that's right. She's sort of uh, struggling actually where she can go on the green. Well, she's gone back on virtually the same mark. Yeah, it is virtually the same. Maybe a, l a couple of metres further, but that's not an awful lot. Surprised at that. Yeah, I, mean, she, I think she's come the other peg. Karen was, was playing uh, the right-hander's finger peg and, and Cass come at it. On the thumb bias, bias to the ditch, and she's tight, tight yeah. lines. She's a metre or so short, which probably made it look a little bit worse. Yeah, Karen's definitely Karen, wider. Yeah, on the, well, with the left-handed delivery, she's liable just to drag it tight as well. You can see she's just inside it, just, yeah, just in. wins it. Yeah, line game. You wouldn't think it, that'd be good enough to win the end and win the game, but uh, who knows? Karen just, uh, uh, Kath needs to put a metre of running in, that's all. It's all run now. Yeah. It needs it. Needs to fly. Sent it. Needs that's to true. run. Just oh, gone yes. in. Just. Now then, oh. anything in. Right, sent it. You give it plenty to do. She's run. She's give jogging after plenty it. Plenty to do. Just needs to come down the ball, slope. Furthest ball wins. Wins for me. Yeah, good ball. Right. That's Karen Galvin. 21-15. Yeah, made a bit hard work of that at the end there. Yeah, but she won't mind. She, she's yep. uh, got through it. She's got off the green. A few ends after later than she should have done, but... Uh, no, she's into the last eight and uh, previous course and distance winner. She'll be feeling very confident for this uh, for this fourth time. Box here, we're picking up the quarterfinal game between Sue Pugh and Katrina Earl. Um, second end, third end, this is uh, two, two nil to Sue Pugh. Thoughts, Andrew, start of this game? What? Two very oh, good players here. Two very good players. I'm I'm glad we're picking a, this game up because I've sort of got an idea about both of them, really. Um, yeah. Well, I've seen them both play before, yeah. which helps. Um, I've not seen any any either, either of the ends yet. Uh, I've just uh, had a quick uh, comfort break. <clears throat> but uh, it's got the makings of a, of a classic game. Sue has had plenty of time on the green already this morning. Uh, I think she's had more time than anyone else. And yeah. Katrina, on the other hand, has, has hardly been on it at all. She's just been on and off. 
Yeah, she hasn't been uh, really challenged at all, albeit she has played very well and hasn't let people really challenge her. No, that's right. You, you, you play as well as you're allowed to and, and Katrina has, has certainly been far and away the best player so far. But Sue won't uh, won't be phased by that. She's uh, she's a very good player. I've seen her play a few county games. I've I've seen her win uh, the average winners classic. I think it was two yeah, years Katrina's ago. Katrina's firing. Yeah, yeah, she's got it. Good fire. Yeah, good. St leaves herself one on. And that's something that, that Katrina has that a lot of the women they don't they don't really strike. You know, full full blown strikes. Yeah. Um, she struck at, at f with force there. Yeah. Didn't she? Yeah, well, she she does certainly play the game in 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 the way you'd expect uh, a man to play the game, and yeah. uh, we, you know, which is no I'm not you, trying to be derogatory. Would you consider her probably the top lady now? Yeah, I would, uh, and I think you know she she's took time out from the game as well. I, I mean, I don't I think she didn't play for maybe five or six years, maybe even longer, and and she came back and she's she's hit. She's hit the same form that she had before she packed in. She she gave up to uh, have, a have a family. family yeah. And, uh, you know, it's great to see her back because you need players of her calibre to, uh, yeah. you know, to give a bit of credence to the ladies' game. And the only disappointment I have is that, that she doesn't really play in any of the men's events, any of the open events that they can go yeah. in like. Uh, and I think she'd do well. I think she should more than compete with the men. Yeah, yeah, so definitely. Yeah, you could say that about a lot of the the ladies that they, they don't have the confidence to come out of the ladies' only competitions and, and just try the hand. Yeah. Oh, Katrina, this is a good effort. Just needs to finish. Little two six balls trickling on. Good ball. That gives Sue an awful lot to worry about. She can't really afford to ramble. Yeah, she's uh, playing through. Few yards over. Needs still a perfect. Still looking. Perfect connection needed. Top spin. Flop. Yeah, not quite. No, nearly. Oh, another one to Katrina. Uh, makes that two apiece. I'm yeah, just. I was, uh, I was talking to to Lynn earlier um, on about the you know the ladies' games and the, the the top players and you know and there's 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 a few that stand out and we were saying the same about comps and. Um, you know, a, a lot of the, some of the ladies now will only play like Linda's. You know, she doesn't play in any ladies' leagues. She just plays, you know, in the men's league because she likes the men. But, I've, no, I've her, heard her, that before. Yes, about Lynn. Yes. You know, but her, you know, it's a completely different talent. You know, but I mean, as you were saying, like with Katrina, you know, I think if uh, how could you say this? Probably took it a bit more serious, if that's the right the right word. She doesn't practice. She doesn't. She just needs to go on the green and play. No, I think it's, it, she's got a remarkable ability and, and like you say, if she just dedicated herself that little bit more, who knows what she could do in the game. I mean, I mean, she's won everything there is. She's massive favourite here now. You know, she's virtually unbackable at the last eight stage. And the talent she's got, I think it could be transferred into a, a bigger arena. There's, there's no reason why she couldn't go and win a, man, a competition that's open to all. But and I think that about a few of the ladies. I, I I think it's a real shame that they they just they don't want to compete. Yeah. Um, and the, the biggest thing is it brings your game on so so well that, that I've watched a. I, I, you're probably bored of hearing this now, but uh, I, I'm I'm uh, I'm currently living with a, a a lady bowler, Karen. She she plays for Yorkshire. She's a very good player, but the way they think about the game is slightly different. To yeah, how yeah, I yeah, think about the game, yeah, yeah. and Karen has been playing in mixed leagues, and her game's developed over the the last last few months. And I just think it's a different mindset. Sometimes I'm not saying either's right or wrong. I'm just saying they're different, and you can learn from from each other, really. Anyway, what do I know? Can't quite tell who's in there. Yeah, you say, you know, Katrina, you know, we've gone about being a strength game and whether people go in the corners, we were saying earlier, because of the pace of the green, for the women, they, they can quite easily reach the corners today, whereas normally, you know, certain women can, uh, certain women can't, whereas Katrina, that is her game. Yeah, I'm, I'm very surprised she's played this, this she sort of length, to be honest. She, oh, she yeah, sent the jack off, didn't she? Off, yeah. See, she, went, I was, she went straight for the corners. I was busy having me ramble about this, that and the other, and I missed her sending the jack off. What a good commentator I am. 
Uh, we know what it's like. We're trying to do 10 jobs at once. Sorry, Lynn, Lynn's just telling me how many open competitions she's won and how she likes playing with men. Yeah, um, we, again, yesterday while the men's was uh, was on and uh, it just came into conversation about has a woman ever played in the Champion of Champions? Um, it was the, the men's Champion of Champions and what if, uh, as Lynn did last year, she run, won the Rockwood Ironwood Open, uh, whereas it was a reserve competition. Mm. Um, well, I don't know what decision they'd make on that. Well, well I, I, I don't think that it'd be allowed to happen. Um, I'm not saying that's the right decision. I, I personally think that it should. I mean, if, if an open competition is won by a lady, good luck to her. Yeah. Um, and I think it'd do the game a lot of good. I, I remember saying a few years ago that they shouldn't have a men's and ladies champ of champs. They should have a champ of champs for everybody. Yeah. Uh, men, ladies, juniors, senior citizens, whoever. Martians, if we have any Martians yeah. only competitions. But... For me, that's that's the beauty of this game. Anyone can can play. Anyone and they can anyone can win. Um, but we seem to like to comp compartmentalise it, which uh, is a backward step for me. Well, Sue, so what a good bowl this is. Yeah, excellent bowl. Yeah, all square. All square between Puggy. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, what they, they these two uh, two ladies have qualified. You know, they've won a uh, won quite a few. Where uh, Sue won the, uh, the the Dudley and District Merit, and um, and Lynn's Lynn's uh, father's competition, the the George Pritchett Mem Memorial Classic. Uh, well she she won that, which I think uh, probably Lynn will be rooting for Sue. You know, uh, being the winner of her, her dad's uh, competition. Yeah, she won it three times as well, which uh, takes some doing winning anything. Never mind, three times. Yeah, and Katrina, yeah, she won the, the the Cynthia Tong Memorial, and obviously the the Waterloo Ladies Open. So, she, you know, she's both players well used to playing on this green. I think Katrina will have probably spent a bit more time on it. She's won the Ladies Singles. She's won the Champ of Champs. I like that. She's put uh, three times won it. I think I mean, it comes to someone when you can't remember how many times <laughs> yeah. you won the Champ won of Champs. Yeah, won it that many times. Yeah, it's. Um, I see at the, at the bottom, one young sp sports personality of the year. Um, we got to the final of the, uh, of the toll, but at 14, when it was a Bass Masters qualifier. Yeah, that that yeah. would have been a that would have been a great uh, advert for the game, Katrina and the uh, Bass Masters at the age of 14. Yeah, I know Lynn appeared in it the same year year I did, and it, that was a tremendous experience and uh, and something that I think the game's still still struggling to to come back from so there you see we've got the uh, the current betting Superputer always the case isn't it Supu 10s Katrina Earl almost unbackable at 6-4 to four. and there's a, a mouth watering en encounter on the cards there Meliza Herbert if she gets past uh, I don't know Miss, Miss or Mrs Masley, Mosley's uh, first name unfortunately Tracy. Tracy thank you Mr no not Mr 12 to 1 so it's looking like an Earl Herb Herbert semi-final uh, and I can't see the other half now there we go Karen Galvin 7 to 2 short price she's waiting for the winner of Alma Cornthwaite and Anne O'Loughlin and then in the bottom bit you've got I think it's Julie Alderman yeah. uh, the, there's another game on the green that's uh, Alexis Lungad and I think it's Emma Thornton it is uh, yes the Cumbria Merit winner uh, she beat the Yorks player Julie Best in the last round. But so it's looking, if you go off the bookies, uh, Karen Galvin, Alexis Lungad semi-final in the bottom half. But it's not all about what the bookie thinks, of course. It's about who puts the balls closest. Well, down in the corner underneath us, Katrina's uh, line one. So you're waiting to send her last ball. Looks that tight. Looks tight yeah. It's a mile tight. tight. Tight from hand. It was almost tight before she sent it. <laughs> and look at it, it's not gone anywhere. <laughs> wow. Really it. In fact, it has won it. Incredible. We Incredible. Said that, didn't we? that was we, well inside we in, the line. We were in the line of her arm and a bowl. <laughs> and uh, 
You said it was tight out of hand. What do we know? Yeah, nothing. What do we know? All I can say is the bias must be tested by the water <laughs> board. Yeah. Well, well, we're right behind the end here, so we'll be able to see just just what sort of bias they've got in relation to that jack. See where she puts this. Well, she is inside yeah, it. She's well, probably yeah. a couple of inches inside the line there. Yeah. I would say she's just under two's full. Probably Katrina's given a little bit more lance. Yeah, she has. But again, it's a slight difference of delivery, as it? Yeah, there you is. Down. That's a good good reply. Yeah, probably slipped a eighteen inch two foot. Difficult to see who's in there. I think I'll have just won it that. A uh, 32 year old 2 6 tailors. Oh, she's give this yes, a lot to do. I hope this is the strong one. Well, going off the last time, last end, that can't come. Not a chance. Yeah, gone out the back. I think Katrina's on there. Yeah, she's pointed to her. So she's going to try and play up for two. Missed the short bowl. Yeah, she's gone well, wide. She's heard on the side of caution. It should as come more she, than... As long as she gets her length. Yeah. Then. Yeah, good ball. Well played ball, that. You can see the difference in bias there. Katrina's, you know, that's, that's pegged almost a foot more than Sue's ball yeah. there. Right, I think we might see uh, a venture out for the corners here. Try and uh, stretch the game out. I'll have to leave this to you. I can't see that far. Okay. I'll go off the monitor. Looks a decent sort of a road. Pace looks okay. Yeah. Needs to start Over stopping. The into the into the green. Yeah, good lead. She's been making leads like that all day. Foot up, foot fifteen inches, and right in the full corners. Yeah. Very hard to beat. This should sink away now. You just shut her under and yeah, keep a, going. So going off the green. Sue's so actually playing with a, a lot bigger ball, a 2.10. So I've just been told by Mr. Plenderleaf that Sue's balls are nearly as weak as mine. <laughs> <coughs> I can't tell you what I'm replying yeah, another to. Another decent, uh, nice, decent ball by Katrina. Re 18 inches on the side. So we'll need to really try and get in here. Just, uh, two here for Katrina. We'll significant break and I almost guarantee she'll go for the corners oh it needs to needs, needs to, to hit stop. something yeah right could it finish Nine there four to Katrina I think as the prediction is now she'll she'll go for the pub corner let's hope she keeps the jack on this time and yep. doesn't make me look like I mean, a fool her last game uh, she played this uh, particularly well yeah that's definitely not going off Katrina, keep fit fanatic. Apparently she's uh, currently doing the Insanity T25 course. Which she does, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm worn out just thinking about that. Well, she's the sort of uh, sort of lady that's on the go all the time. Yeah, played a good lead. Area sales manager for Rehow Limited. Uh, I think they make uh, double glazing. It's the plastic. The plastic surrounds, yeah. 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 Yeah, she's all go. Lives life on the edge. Hmm. Well, Sue, so, a bad effort. No, just going out the back. Got a metre out the back of the end. Yeah. Katrina's six, eight inches in front of it. Looking to play another. I think she'll just be working her way into the corners now. She was playing a good ten, ten yards further than that in the, in the first two rounds. I think she's obviously, cut, you know, she doesn't want to chuck the jack off again. So she just made sure she's gone a reasonable distance and I'm sure she'll work her way right into the full ends eventually. Does this reach? Surely this doesn't reach. I don't think it'll run all that. It's trying, trying its best, but I don't, I don't think it'll get there anytime soon. Poor bowl, really. That's yeah, um, should have been passing the jack. Definitely, yes. Surprised at that. 
don't know whether it was it's one or two. I think it's two. I'm going off the body language, she'd have yeah. picked, picked that ball up if it wasn't in the count. She's left it there so Sue can confirm the bad news that it's two down. Yeah, shouting measures. Looks it. Funny angle we're at here, though. Well, we're a long way off. Looking at that, I'd say actually Sue's. Sue's right hand ball looks in off the off the monitor picture. Can be a little bit deceptive at times, but uh, Evelyn, the only lady referee I know, is uh, pointing to Katrina, so we'll we'll find out in a minute. No point me guessing. Of course, you're a bit of a runner, aren't you, Alan? On yeah. the sly, you run an odd. I do. Oh, yes, I really I enjoy yeah. Uh, in running, I started it about uh, four or five years ago. As I was getting on in years, and always done a lot of exercise and fitness, and I'd stop most things. Um, yeah. So I, uh, I joined a running club and run regularly, and did the London Marathon yeah. last year. Very good. I, I did the London Marathon a few years ago. Did it in a taxi cab. I don't yeah. think it counts really, <laughs> but uh, yeah, very enjoyable. Yeah, it did. cost me a few quid. Yeah. Yeah, I do enjoy it. I've got I'm running the Birmingham half uh, in October, and then going to Benidorm to run the half marathon there oh, in November. Very good. Oh. Uh, with a few beers, no doubt. Say hello to Madge if you see her on a mobility scooter. That's the only way I'd get around a half marathon. <laughs> well, Katrina did have two. She was uh, right, and she's that's arguably the worst lead she's played today, which is uh, saying something. It's only a yard off. Well, Sue's well. This should be all right with Sue's balls. It just pace needs looks, a length. Uh, yeah, pace looks okay. Oh, peg an yeah, awful lot. Uh, good reply here. Excellent ball. Sue. Yeah, good ball. And if Katrina's thinking about turning it over and oh, striking, very aggressive yes. play. Well, that's what we were talking about earlier. You know, there yeah. isn't many women would have confidence in doing that. Oh, that's right. And with force as yeah. well. Yeah. Watching it. Close to it. Watching Close it. to it. Done it for me. Got it. What a good strike. Full corners. Is that a, a male would have been proud of that. That's a bit chauvinistic if you yeah, don't mind is, me saying that. Really I think that's ridiculous. Right, I think I'd order, I'd ta order take that back. I think you should. We don't go in for that sort of thing here. Well, yeah, great maybe, strike. Off, maybe off microphone, obviously. Yeah. Well, so I think she's put it back. She has. Great ball, great reply. Yeah, super. Have another go, Katrina, she's saying. Yeah. Yeah, good reply there, Sue. Because it can be a bit deflating, can't it? You put a, you know, full di full corners, um, put one, you know, a few inches away and somebody fires it off. You know, you've, you've almost got it on the card. Well, Sue just needs to... Keep hold of Jack for a few ends now and uh, see what she can do with it. She obviously she's shortening the game a, a lot. Yeah. So what was well, something we were saying earlier on? Not quite up to the middle of the green, but... No, just to the side. Tricky little mark. Hard to gauge the distance there. It's not so bad you know this, what? you know. Good lead. In fact, super lead, yeah, that is. Good ball there. Real good ball. I'll keep keep the drafts out. Katrina's just yeah. too big here. Too yeah. big and too far. It's in a good spot, though, for the next ball, if you can get a contact, solid contact on it. Well, if uh, Sue comes in for two, it'll change Karina, uh, Katrina's shot. Um, really, I'd... Yeah, it is round the back, but probably too far away. Well, it depends where this ball goes. If it makes a target, I don't think... Uh, I think, yeah, it's just made one. So Katrina's just probably trying to save now or, or play a perfect side toucher. Yeah, it's two. Can't afford to ramble. Yeah, 
Yeah, she's took a lot of the pace out. Huh? She has. Not a, effort, this is yeah. a big effort. Big effort. What an effort that this is. is. Oof. 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 No. No, I don't think so. Good ball right. though. Just yeah. half a ball all tight, really. She wanted to be a little bit wider. I think uh, the game just finishing. Which I think was twenty across. Yeah. I think Alexis Lungad just got yes. the verdict on that one. Played a very strange mark that I don't think I've seen anyone play before on this green. Right out of the corner. Yeah. It only got about halfway <laughs> towards the shop corner, but uh, she got away with it. Got played a decent ball, and uh, she's in the last eight, waiting the winner of uh, Tracy Mosley and uh, what she called Eliza Herbert. We'll goal. just uh, we'll just run through the scores of the, the second round games for you. Uh, Carol Matthews eighteen, Sue Pugh twenty one, Anita Mansfield six, Katrina Earl twenty one, Meliza Herbert twenty one, Sarah Fox seventeen, uh, Carleen Doddy Millington, Doody Millington fourteen, Tracy Mosley twenty one. Uh, Kath Garnett, 15. Karen Galvin, 21. Alma Cornthwaite, 21. Anna Lachlan, 18. Carol Verdon, 13. Julie Alderman, 21. And Alexis Lungad, 21. Emma Thornton, 20. So that leaves the last eight looking like Supu playing Katrina Earl, the game we're watching now. Meliza Herberts currently pay, playing Tracy Mosley. Um, and I can't just see the scores. Meliza's 11 6 up in that game. Karen Galvin's just gone on the green against Alma Cornthwaite, and Julie Alderman will be playing Alexis Lungad. And that'll be starting in the next five minutes or so. So there we are, bang up to date. Yeah, one to see there. There you go, it's on the screen now. For those of you that didn't really listen to me. That's certainly, that's a, that's a good last eight field looking at that. I'm, I'm, yeah, for, from the field, I think that's arguably the best, well, almost the best eight you could have hoped for. Yeah, I think you're right, and. Right, Sue, so, uh, score 7 11 on the mat. 25 ish, 28, 30 metre mark across the middle of the green. Not a bad lead. I okay. gave the wrong score out. Yeah. I gave the wrong... You never told me, did you? Meliza's four. Meliza, four. Yeah. Yeah, Meliza, four. four. Tracy Mosley, six. six. That's the that's the latest score of that game. Sorry, folks, I, I can't read. I'm a bit number dyslexic, I think. So he just needs to pass her on now. We should finish. Yeah, decent pace here. Oh, will it stop? Oh, can't just see. Can't just tell. Monitor either. Evelyn's getting involved now. He's pointed to Sue's last ball. It just stops. You think he's not stopped? Just stopped in. There's a shot here for Katrina. Just touch your own ball or come past it and sit Sue's nearest. Looks like she just missed it. Yeah, just too wide. Yeah, she, came, she turned peg, actually. She came at it on the finger peg uh, rather than, tr you know, tried on the thumb and knock Sue another. Yeah, she tried to knock her own in. Just having a quick look. I think they're uh, all in measures. I measures. Think she's conceded. Katrina's conceded one. Um, they're going to measure the others. No, oh, perhaps hasn't. Looks like they're going to. One against the two. Yep. Uh, short in. on that one. This looks like the counting bowl. I think Katrina's already conceded that one. Yeah. 
Slack band. Yep. Right. 8 11 on the mat. She's looking uh, across the middle of the green again. Similar mark, I think. Well, there's no reason to change. She's just yep. getting back in it nice and steady. 8 11. Very easy delivery, Sue. That's nice to see as well. Everyone's standing on the mat. You, don't see, you didn't see a lot of that yesterday, standing on the mat. No. No. I'm surprised though yesterday, wasn't it, early on? Uh, you know, two of the favourites went out early on. Gary Ellis went out. Graham Wilson went out first games. Yeah, you, it's certainly not happened here today. I think the... Uh, I think, well, obviously Katrina was a, a massive favourite. Malise is a big favourite. Karen, Karen Galvin, uh, Alexis Lungad in that bottom bitch. They're, they're all the favourites yeah. that seem have, have, have got through unscathed so far. Yeah, they have. It's just, yeah. uh, Katrina's is, uh, she beat uh, Sue's for a lead bowl. Well, is this too far? It is, it needs a hit. Yeah, gone out the back. Yeah, just gone. Okay, yeah. yeah. Katrina going to play up, try and make another. Oh, yeah, she should do. You know, I'm, I'm generalising a bit here, but I've, I've always found the ladies' game a bit like Scottish football. It, it, they tend to it go with the favourites. You know, it's a way, really way with bowl. You, you can tend to, uh, the favourites tend to win more often than not, nine times out of ten. It's a little tip for you if you ever ever having a, an accumulator Scottish third division gold it is. What on earth was that? I'm just giving you a bit of information. You're full of all sorts of information. I am. I am. I'm full of something anyway. For just for those out interested, Ryder Cup latest Europe 12, USA 6. That's looking like it was all over. I think you should turn that off and just concentrate on the bowling from now on. There's definitely more golf gloves on show here. Great lead from Katrina there. Yeah. It's sort of, um, yeah, going back up into that corner, I think throwing it off is actually, uh, she's, she said she's stopping about 10 metres from where she'd normally go. Ooh, good reply good from Sue. Yeah, good effort that. I think it's, I think it's won it that I'm put, I'll put my, my neck on the block and say that that's won it. Yep. Just asking. Well, Katrina, you look a little bit to back here. Right sort of pace to attack the sh attack the end, but. Now then, Sue, I think if you, if you took a bit too too yeah. much care over this ball, played well short, didn't want to affect anything, one of the jacks, she's happy with that, chipping away at that lead. I think it was 11-3 at one stage, 11-4 at one stage. Yeah. thought Katrina was going to, well, maybe run away with the, the game that she'd done with the others, but uh, better quality player, Sue. She's holding in there, 9-12 to the mat. Yeah. Just looking at her hobbies here antique fairs, bowls, and handmade cards. Yeah. See, I bet she could have taken a few orders today if she'd have gone round with some samples. Yeah. There's quite a good crowd. And quite a good crowd, and there you go. We've got the quarter final draw again. Apparently, there was a mistake on the last time the caption was up. Naughty, naughty Lynn. She will be punished for that, I can assure you folks. So there you go, that's that's the correct quarter final lineup. Um and I think they're, they're all the fourth game that's uh, is just going on the green now. Alexis Lungad and Julie Alderman. So all four quarter final greens are now underway. Uh, yeah, featured game here. Um probably the worst and uh Sue's led out. Put the, put the jack 25-ish metres. Poor lead. Katrina's own just beat it. 
Yeah, and as we keep saying, it's just very quick, that area. A lot of brown. You, you can see it from our commentary position very well, just how bare it is. That'll just trickle in now. Look at that go. That ran a yard in the last it inch, that. <laughs> it did. Now then, Katrina, have you rectified it? Better road. Yeah, Won't run as far as Sue's. Good un. Yeah, very good ball. Yeah, excellent. Would have been easy to have washed that too far. Right, looking down in the corners, the, the toilet corner. 13-9 on the mat. Hmm. Again, not really going deep into them. No. Uh, tricky little mark, this finger peg down there. Easy to get outside it. Anything tight goes with the slope of the green. Just watch it go if it's inside. It'll just go and go and go. Oh, yeah. You won't be happy with that lead. No, not that's a good one. That's a good two, three metres. I actually good. think she's struggling just mm. putting the jack where she Ju wants yes. it. I think I think she's been a little bit too cautious. From that end where she uh, threw the jack off, she's never, good, like you said, gone deep into the corners. No. And I, I feel where this... she wants to go. Yeah. I feel this is Sue's sort of, sort of a length and a mark. I think she likes playing these... I don't think this is really Katrina's game, but... I think she's tight again. Tight again. We'll go. We'll keep going. Not a good not a good end okay. for Katrina. They're in the same street again if she gets two here. Taking a time, which is the right thing to do. You can easily send balls too quickly and not not uh, not get these easy doubles. Yeah, she's tight. This she's is. tight. Needs a hit, you know. Needs to just touch it. Has yeah, it no, right, not gone out? That gone out? Yeah. Could have should have punished that really. This stage of the game kept herself right. Uh, just needed to be a little bit wider. Just pulled it tight. We are still close to this game now. Change them off now. 10-13 on the mat. Going towards the cop. Not as busy as it was yesterday. There's a few hardy souls on there watching. Enjoying the bowling, really. It's been very good standard today. That's a good lead. Yeah, it's not a not a bad crowd here. It's um, sure more than what there was last year for the ladies' finals. If I remember, the year before was particularly bad. I think that was the one with the bad weather. It's horrible. You won't send your dog out in it. Never mind play balls. Good response oh. from Katrina. Yeah. Just gone in. Yeah, it looks it from here. Just gone in. Again there, just in that brown patch, it again he thought he was uh, a metre short and just grovelled in. Oh, I've done a lot of grovelling in. <laughs> this needs to run. Bigger ball might get there. Oh, he's not just stood it up. Needed to stand it up to put it in. Now then, can she get another? Just give it a little bit of land. Right thing to do. Right side yeah, of it needs mates. to run. Needs to run. Little ball, remember, only yeah. two sixes. I think that might have just out. given up. Looking for two. Little, gr again. little grin from Sue there. Yep. Yeah. Having a little chat. Katrina just telling Sue how she thought she was far enough and it was definitely two and why are you bothering getting measured, kick them in. We'll find out in a minute. Not often you find two two referees near a ladies game. No. Oh. Usually. Yeah, one, two, uh one to Katrina, that's 14-10 uh, on the mat. Yeah, 
again, she's uh, not gone. Yeah, as far as she dare, really. That's where she was playing down there early on in, into that corner. Yeah, northwest. She's just letting those off her fingers. Yeah, northwest corner of the green, all downhill. Hitting the green now, the lush green. Still trickling, can't be so bad. Yeah, good good lead. lead. Yeah, excellent ball. They always finish at the side, don't they? So Sue, something to play at. I would say she's tight, but with, it, with Sue's balls, I'm never so sure. If it's running, it's a chance. Just going to go tight. And yeah, good pace. More or less a length, really. Yeah. Now, Katrina, she'll be wanting to get another, but not make a target unless it's a front toucher. Pace looks good. She's made another, played another here. Look at that. Yeah, two good balls. Looks Both like a on the side, so looks like a set of wickets. Yeah. Sue will uh well, will not be short, I wouldn't think here. Just needs to be a yard yeah. over, doesn't want to be too far. Runs the jack, she makes two. I hope she's not underneath. I hope she's not underneath. She's still watching. Still just watching. under. It is. Right, two to Katrina. Sixteen ten to the mat. That's put a a little bit of um, Breathing space. She was probably a good good line with the first, even though she f she finished tight. It was she was a perfect length. She'd have played a, a yard extra pace on on that road. She'd have been very close yeah. to the jack then. So what we've seen of her bowls uh, so far, um, they they did just a little bit weak. Yeah, just a little bit. Katrina's not gone. Anywhere near as far as she's been playing, she seems content with playing this. I mean, it's a good 35, nearly 40 yards they're going. Good lead this, yeah, good start. Super lead. super lead, that is. She'll be happy with that. There's Sue. Lovely delivery, sends it out. Heading towards that, Jack. The line looks good. All on a pace yes. now. All on a pace. Just given. Just the side of it. Great effort. Good response. She's she's certainly uh, playing the, these distances well. There's just the one end that sticks in the mind when there were two bad balls played. But can you reach Katrina? Answer no. It was a good good reply by Sue. Difficult then. then for uh, Katrina to get another in. Gives Sue a chance here of making two if she reaches, and she has done. Yep, She's give this a chance. In. Big effort. Looking at it, looking at it. Oh, oh, oh good, ball. good ball. Good ball. Very good ball. She's been a little bit unfortunate, really. She just halved the ball. If she'd have sat it full, she'd have made a certain two. A well-played ball, no doubt. This is where it's always uh, important to get your, your second ball counting. Make sure your opponent uh, think about it more. Think about what their shot's going to be. Whereas Katrina's second bowl, uh, nowhere near counting. They only left one option then for Sue. And she and she played it. Yeah, it had to be played though. I mean, yeah. they make it sound easy. Just put a yeah. yard in or whatever. But really good. Uh, yeah, excellent Really good bowl. Sue's changing it again. Just looking at the uh, the other games. Um, Tracy Mosley um, beating Katrina Earl 11-8. Oh, sorry, yeah. Beat Malloy's Herbert 11-8. Quick scan to cross. Karen Galvin. Leading 10 nil. Yeah, she's in the corners. In the other game, Julie Alderman and uh, Alexis Lundgad um, just started. That's.
And then he's 8 1 to Alexis. Well, back to our, uh, our feature game. Katrina's counting one. That's 17 11. She's uh, she'll be looking towards the. Uh, she's going to go. Looks like she's going to come down into. The, go a bit of a distance again. She'll be looking to get towards the finish line now. Yeah, playing finger peg towards the shop corner, not right into it. She's uh, she's suddenly started playing a little bit shorter, but she won't mind as long as she leads a good one. Road looks good. All on a pace now. Road's perfect. Yeah, not bad at all, that. Yeah, just slipped out of the back. Or two foot, not a bad lead. They've not been near enough, really, this game. She's, mm. she's just... I mean, she's played well, but she's she's not played as well as she has in the first two rounds. I think if she'd... I mean, you'd be some sort of a machine to keep that, that level of play up, but uh, you've got to go... Sue's played one here. She's going to run the block. Yeah, Has she gone it. with it? Yeah, it's fallen her way as well. Just won it. I think they're saying Katrina's on. Doesn't look it from here. No, it doesn't. Mm. She's turned, uh, flipped a peg. Come the other way. Needs to run. But she's tight. I think she could run in the back of Sue's yeah, bowl. Her in. Is. Oh, Ooh. slid past it. Very fortunate, that. Was. She turned a peg to, to try and avoid that. How often do you do that, yeah, though? Yeah. Turn your peg yeah. and... Run in the back try of and it. Make, try and play the right shot. Well, Sue. So she's up. Well, Sue. She hits her own. She knocks she, it in. Yeah, it promotes it. Makes two. It does. Yeah, very good bowl, that. Excellent bowl. Yeah. Said put the put the mockers on that. And uh, Katrina looking to get towards the finish line. Mm. Usual thing. Well, they've took one out and they're giving this a good, good look in at. It didn't look like it was... Yeah, it's two. Yeah. That's, that was closed, a good that's closed the gap up a bit. 13-17 to the mat. Well, Sue's played two really good second balls in the last three ends. That, that was a great ball. Two up to uh, two down to two up. That's a four four chalk swing. And then a couple of ends ago, three quarter corners played a yard through and sat Katrina's ball out. I'm lucky not to make two. Going up to the middle of the green. Oh, block up. Eliza shouts block up. So it will be returned. And she'll have to play somewhere else. Yeah, the ref playing football with the jack there. Well, the last ball of the end's been sent, so she should be able to go where she wants now. Yeah, she's not changing it. It's where she wanted to go up to the middle of the green. Very quick, even though it's uphill, it's quick. Just stopped in a bit of a green patch. Stroke this out. Needs to run, needs to fly. Well, it's uh, not, decent lead. It's not so it's bad. Looks about 18 inch, two foot away. Very easy for Katrina to overreach. Don't yeah, think there. she has. She's played a good one. Played a real yeah, one. Good, ball. good reply. Good ball, now then, Sue. Can you find us another good second ball? Well, she's got a reach, but uh, if she gets too far, it'll just hang out. I think she's a little bit further. She's a bit. She's a big chance That's now. She has. What a good oh, ball. What a great Brilliant ball. Brilliant ball. That second ball yeah. again. She might as well pull that first one in a bag. Just play with second one. What a great effort that was. Now, Katrina, can you do the same? Look a bit outside it. It's pegging. It's pegging. She? Oh, you're right. Just outside. Again, excellent second bowl by, by Sue. Brilliant. Keeping herself in the game here. I think Katrina's uh, crossing her mind now what she's, what she's got to do. No, 
personally, I think if she gets the jack anywhere near the corners again, she needs to go right in them. Yeah. I think uh, so this, this three-quarter corner she started playing, it's not really doing it. But very, very quick now. Oh, got hit. Got hit with a ball from another end. It, I think it would have had to have gone back anyway. So yeah, you'll get cool. to resend it. Any time you want. Yeah, look across the other games now. Meloisa Herbert. Is eleven thirteen. Karen Galvin ten five in front. <laughs> this is the game we're we're featuring. Sue Pugh fourteen. Katrina Earl seventeen. Just waiting for them to finish. He was he. Wants to play the jack back to where it got hit. Yeah, that was the Alexis Lungad, Julie Alderman end. That's now uh, three. Julie Alderman three, Alexis Lungad nine. So he's playing thumb peg down to the. North uh, West Stand. I'd one about what, 18 inch, two feet short. Yep. Just a little bit green there. It's it's all brown until you get there. Easy to wash one to far. This looks okay. Yeah, small, but a little bit tight. Can't all right. It. Yeah, got in that. Good ball. Wins it. And Sue's wanting to know who's in. She's uh, asking to the ref to make a decision. He's having a bit of a ramble round. Taking his time. Yeah, pointed at Katrina's ball. She should have asked us, we knew. Yeah. Well, Sue's just got to put a foot of running in. It's that simple. Anything in really? Oh, she's definitely further. Yeah. Definitely further. Too Needs a hit. Yeah. Needs a hit. So, um, oh, Katrina looking to make a double here. See, so she just caressed that out. Hardly sent it really. Hardly sent it. Got to be careful. Can't get into that short ball. Good job she didn't send it any harder. Yeah. One in the jack. Oh. And they're looking at it. Yeah, um, conceded one. Conceded it eventually. Right. 18-14. Katrina. Right, Katrina, what are you thinking? She's looking straight at the pub corner. Yeah, and she's not going there. She's not? No. Going a fairly short mark again. I'm surprised at this. I'm really surprised this end. Because she, okay, she's in front in the game, but as we saw earlier, you know, her, her longer game, not, not seen her. Played at all in this. No, it's a big surprise, really. She was she was absolutely awesome for those two rounds. Yeah. Maybe she thinks Sue is a is a good corner player, and and this isn't her game. But I, I think we've already seen that that's not the case. So, well, Katrina's put a lead uh, two three foot short. Yeah, it's a good Sue's response. Going, yeah, brilliant, great response. That is. What about the side of the jack? Well, Katrina, she's definitely well, up. She has to reach. She's looking. Needs to Still get inside it. it. Still watching. She hit her short first bowl. Leaving Stu. Still counting. 
Well, there's not a lot of danger on her length. I don't think she can... Well, unless she's, you know... She's got to be travelling to put yeah. that ball in. Length ball is no real danger, but... Uh, she seems to be taking an awful long time. I think I think that's what happened the last end. She took a bit too much, too much time thinking about it, and she's twirled it. She's come the other way in. I actually think there was more danger that yeah. way in than there was the finger peg. You should have hit the jack on that I think you're peg. right. Yep. But what do I know? Yeah, anyway. we can only analyse and think what the, yeah. the shot should be, what we think the right shot is. Another one, 15-18. Not all over yet, this game. It's not. I did, I put the mockers on it earlier, same when Katrina got to 17, her Jack, maybe trying to look for the finish line and mm. stuttering. Well, a, a good lead here, and who knows? Yeah. All about leading. So, you know, the, the first two games, I mean, Katrina did play very well, but she was on and off the green very, very quickly. She, it's a different ball game, this is. Yeah, I think she's been taking around the green a little bit. See, oh. Sue hasn't put a good lead. Sue, 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 Sue. Straight up, you said, need a good lead here. Oh, Katrina. Katrina. Where's that gone? Oh, they just don't want to win this. Uh, it looks like they've dropped him out of an helicopter here. <laughs> I've never heard that before. You've never lived, Alan. I haven't, obviously. Yeah. Have a few more where they came <laughs> from as well. I bet you have. Well, Sue, I hope you've put a couple of yard in this. Line looks a lot better. Needs to stop now. Don't know. Jimmy right, Savile's back today. <laughs> Are you going to explain that one? No. Good. Well, Katrina. Katrina. Yeah. Well, can you run? Can you run? Yeah. Hurry! Give up. Oh. Yeah. Well, 16, 18. All of a sudden. Yeah, looking totally different. All of a sudden. Got away with that. She has. Got away very, with that very end. Poor lead. No real response from Katrina. Coming back on the similar mark. Yeah, finger peg. peg. He's not come out so nice, that. Needs to travel a bit. Might get it, you know. Ooh. She yeah, wants to have had it back. She wants to have had it back. Definitely not. <clears throat> so about five feet, four or five feet short. Yeah, again, when she really wanted a, a really good lead. Yeah. Really put the pressure on Katrina. Well, needs so to miss it. Further. Couldn't. Yeah, good reply. That's more like it. Punishes it. But she's been finding these good second balls as Sue. Wouldn't put it past her to find another one here. She can actually pass a ball on the inside. She needs to be inside her own rather than outside it to win it. I'll never look at it so, now. Yeah. You're right, it was outside. A little bit too far. Well, Katrina. She'll change get to peg. Here, get to here, really put pressure on now. Yeah, change the peg. She knows the green a little bit better. Just pegs up a yard or so. Anywhere within four feet gets another good ball. Yeah, she'll be feeling a bit happier now. Yeah, she will. You right. puff her cheeks out now and just... Find a lead for game. Down there, compose herself. Yep, down to the corner. As we all know, when you get to this point, at 20, good lead. I think, I'm, I'm thinking one of those jacks needs to go back or else there'll be absolute chaos. Which, won't, which will be the other In game. The back one. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, not that one. Oh. <laughs> how, many, <laughs> how many times you shout that? <laughs> Works every time, oh, though, doesn't it? Does. it? Well, this can't Brilliant. be so bad, Katrina. Great lead. She'll be happy with that. Yeah, not so bad for getting flopped the right way. Yeah, sat in front of the jack. Doesn't give Sue a big target. Well, if she's reached, you know, she's got a bit of a chance here. Bigger bowl than Bit Katrina's. of a squeak. Bit of a squeak. Big. Ooh. Run out the back. Well, Katrina will want to 
I think put a, another one in the end. Another I think, counting bowl. I think she'll try and put one short and in the way. Oh, she has. <laughs> Halfway across oh. the green. You don't really see that very often, eh? No, used to It used to happen a lot. Yeah, I'm I'm not sure it's the right no, ball, personally. No, it's in the eye not. line, but... Uh, definitely not. Big grin off Katrina. Yeah. It's, it's actually quite a good guide. Sue's just got to graze that ball, really. She's hit it. Oh, no, Ooh, she just missed it. Yeah. Now she's a chance right. if she's reached. Has she? Missed it. Oh, good effort, good yeah. effort. Yeah, prob probably did its job in the did end, it, that bowl of Katrina's, yeah, because she was high, because she went uh, went above it. Yeah. So, 21-16 to Katrina. Well, tight game. There were some decent bowls. Um, there was a few loose ends as well. Yeah, it was, a, it was an interesting game. I don't think either will be delighted with how they've played. Katrina will be happy that, uh, obviously, she scrambled out, and uh, Sue will be disappointed she didn't make better leads, but... You know, yeah. you can't play the best at every game, unfortunately. So yeah, uh, not, not a classic by any means, but uh, that puts her through into the into the semi-final. That's right. Well, we go off now to a uh, commercial break. Well, welcome back to uh, the Waterloo. Afternoon, Andrew. Oh, it's nice to see you, Mel. You I didn't me, think you, you. I didn't think you were bothering today. No, I am. Yeah, I've been uh, negotiating with sponsors. See, that's why you're an MBE. That's why I've been trying to. Getting something to cover paying you again for next year. <laughs> right? Funny man. Best offer I've had so far is three balloons and a golf. Yeah, yeah. Is that all right? That's okay. It's more than I'm getting now. Okay. Anyway, back to bowls. Be serious. Uh, game we're picking up in the quarter final. It's uh, Julie Alderman, Alexis Lungad. Um, what's the start of this game outside? Alexis shot into a lead short marks, 9 1 up. Julie's come right back into it with a 10 break. She's now 11-9 in front, playing the corners very well. As I said that, she sprayed one. <laughs> yeah, I must admit, the, I think uh, Alexi, what was she, 8-1? 8-1, playing well, little nine, short round pegs. 9-1. Yeah, 9-1. Uh, she was on here the other week uh, with the Yorkshire ladies. I, I attended that event for me sins. And uh, again, she played very well that day. And I thought this would be comfortable for Alexis. Uh, she looked very comfortable, but all of a sudden, uh, it's twirled round. Yeah, well, Julie's a real good player. She's a particularly good corner player. Plays at Victoria Park at Stafford. Big greens, good reachers, Julie. A lot of experience on this green as well. Um, and she's really turned it round. Quite unflappable, is Jules. Yeah. Well, I've just just been looking on a, on a information sheet... And she's got down Fleetwood. Main balls on us, Fleetwood, approximately 1979. She doesn't look old enough. <laughs> yeah, but I say, Julie, from a very young age, I've known her, um, obviously, a very long time, and she was in the in the county side down our way when she must have been 14, 15. I bet Julie's cleared 100 county appearances in her career, without a doubt. Real good competitor. To be fair, I think she's the deserves more success than she's probably had on, on a CV she got at the moment mm. um, she's not um, Julie's really a take it or leave it type of a player just enjoys playing if she was as dedicated as the likes of Lynn and Katrina she could well have uh, won a few more of the, of the major events mm. you know I rate her very highly but she got her hands full here with Alexis she's been playing well on the short marks all day Andrew hasn't she? Yeah she's pl played very well um, I'd, I've not seen an awful lot of her uh, well, not this season anyway. And then, I, like I say, I watched her last week on here, and uh, she was playing just as well as she's doing today. Uh, good player. She won the Isle of Man Festival this year, which got her into this event, which is uh, takes some winning. Mm -hmm. um, she's uh, she plays for Yorkshire, but I think she lives down your way as well. She lives in Birmingham, I think. Yeah, she and, plays and for the Baldwin, Baldwin Club in Birmingham. Yeah, which is a strange state of affairs, but you can. Take the girl out of Yorkshire and all that. And uh, occupation, she's a, a football development officer for ladies and girls. Uh, are they allowed to play football? Is that a, I guess so. Is that a new thing? Good ball, ball, that is. Yeah. And they made a double. That must be something I've missed. Mm. I don't, uh, that's one game I don't follow, I'm afraid, I, I, being a Burnley fan. No. no, I mean, you're more interested in ladies' balls than ladies' That's football. right, absolutely, yeah. Massive fan. Yeah. Hey, 
Alexis, she's only she's 33 and uh, she's played over 70 times for Yorkshire. So these ladies, they certainly get some county appearances in. Well, they've got a lot of counties, don't they? I mean, they, I think you play probably five qualifying rounds, don't you? And there's chances of semi finals and finals. Mm -hmm. Soon mount up yeah. a lot of counties in the ladies' setup. And then Julie, what are doing here? Just stuck it out a little bit and do a bit at the death, Andrew. Yeah, it'll, it'll just peg an inch now. Just needs to finish. It's all downhill. Good ball. Very quick this corner yesterday. I think it's not really seen many balls in, in this corner, this, this deep. It's just hard to judge. This is tighter. Needs to pick the jack, but I don't think it can. Only playing two pounds, seven ounce balls, but they run away down that hill. Well, that flew out, didn't it? It did. But a right turnaround. I, don't, I couldn't see past Alexis at 9-1, uh, at but mm, balls isn't nine up, is it? No, good, another good ball coming in. Julie's come from behind in both her opening games, Andrew. There's always a few shots behind. And Alexis looks to be on good land here. If she's corrected her pace. Well, she can't afford to play short. She's she's certainly got to arrive, and this is a this is a real chance. Picks the jack up certain. Good yeah, ball. Real good. In. Yeah. Might go off yet. Yeah. This jack might go off. Ooh, just tippled over at the right time. Good ball, Alexis. Yeah, them sort of balls can win your games, Andrew. That's right. So looking at being 15-11 uh, instead, 13-12. I was just having a chat with Julie before she went on the green. She was, I told her we might be uh, having her on the cameras. She said, oh, look, all right, but I gave her some of your makeup, Andrew. And oh, she's okay now. I wondered where it had gone. Maybe it's Maybelline. I thought you were going to say, did she ask you for bum look big in this? <laughs> but no, I think uh, Alexis has just plunked that jack in someone's land. Yeah. We played um, quite a few mixed doubles with Jill a few years ago. We had a bit of success, won a few tournaments. And, um, you know, she, I've, I've always felt what a good player she is. Seems to be a common theme developing with you, Mel. What's that? You have these women uh, carrying you to victories in various pairs. No, I just make them into good players, don't no, I? Lynn's walking like a cripple almost with a bad back. Feel she's having to sit down all the time. Poor lady. If you was honest and spoke to her, she would honestly say that her corner play has improved since she's played with me. Because that's where I go and she has to follow. Well, yeah, the men have to lead in mixed pairs, really, don't they? Otherwise, you will never get anywhere. <coughs> you know what I said about getting some points to play the next year? <laughs> It's a very short mark, I like it is. this set here. She's played a few of these. She, she played one out of the, the north-west corner, and it only just went halfway along the, the stand. I, I was surprised that uh, they didn't call tapes on it. But, uh, Let's go out the back. I'll have to put them a little bit closer than that, I would think. And Julie was always reared in playing on the um, the greens at GC at Stafford, where the Olympia oh played yes. on the big green there. So she's she played greens such as the, the big green at Stafford and Victoria Park, which is a big green. But she also plays for a local club, Amersol, in the Canuck League. Oh yeah, which Amersol. is a small, quick green. Mm. So I think it just helped a little bit on the short marks. I know she always was concerned on, a, on quick greens, didn't always fancy them, but her all-round game has improved. Her husband Clive's here somewhere, um, but he said he just can't watch her. He was <laughs> around the back of the stand somewhere. It's funny that I, whenever I watch Karen playing a county games, I have to be exceedingly drunk. <laughs> <laughs> and he, it's either that or I don't watch her, but uh, she likes the uh, the support, so uh, I, I just have to get drunk. Only six or seven pints, but it's the only way I can get through it. <laughs> When I watch Lynn, I have to get drunk, I think. <laughs> Sends me to drink. Now, I didn't say that. You're glad I've come back? I, I am, actually. I've missed you, Mel. It's, yeah. uh, Alan's good company, but he's, yeah. he's, he's no Mel Evans, yeah. MBE. Midlands well, Bowls expert. Julie. Well, yeah. I think she's just concerned at how quick it is just in that, that area. Oh, 
Alexis looks like she's launched this ball. He's got to go past the jack, unless it hits it. Oh, it, it was too far as soon as it came out of the hand. So Julie, is, well, she's just got to forget the first ball and this will reach. Don't think it can go out though, can it? It's trying, trying its best to go out, but I don't think it can. Two eight balls are just an ounce heavier than Alexis's. And she's uh, played with them balls as long as I can remember, um, Julie. Not sure if they were the father's balls this one, but John Bradley was a good player, played a lot for Staffordshire. Okay. Like a pegs. Okay, I'm getting I'm measured. I'm waiting for the measure, just a quick look at all the games. Karen Galvin seems to be coasting towards a, a semi final place. She's 17 10 up. Lant across all the games. Uh, Melissa Herbert is 15 18 down against Tracy Mosley. Uh, 19 now. Did Tracy get to the semi finals last year? I seem to remember a lady playing with blue balls. No, she was, uh, she was in it last year, I'm sure. I'm afraid my encyclopedic knowledge of the Ladies game isn't uh, isn't that good. Julie oh, was Julie in. was in. Didn't think it could go out. Gone towards this corner, the shop corner. Looks good this ball. Looks good, it can't be a bad one. Especially if it hits it, good ball. Excellent ball, that. Giving Alexis something to think about here. She's roaded it, you know. This is a good way in. Good, good road. Needs a hit, though. Needs to hit that ball. Goes off now. Watch it go. It's on that. Off the green. Seems to gather speed the last two yeah. yards, Andrew, didn't it? Probably all the people standing on that yeah. edge yesterday. <laughs> You're probably right. There were, there were a few on there. It does, certainly doesn't help the green in that area. It was already bare to begin with, and with 50 or so people trampling on it. Well, she's made another. So they've had to chuck it off, not to. Couple of yards short. But well, Alexis, have you took some out? You've took too much out. Made your save, will it? No. Give up. Giving up, took too much out. Looks to the heavens, shakes ahead. Cheap two. The other the other game on the green, Meliza Herbert and Tracy Mosley. She's just, just gone out as Meliza, one of the favourites. A little bit of an upset. She won't be happy with how she's played. She's she's spread them around the last few ends. Very unlike Meliza, but well played Tracy. She's the lady with the blue ball. She'll be Looking forward to a semi-final appearance against another favourite, Katrina Earl. And Julie's going to have to have the jack back. She's uh, gone, f gone for the corners. Put it right in Alma Cornthwaite's way. And Alma's going to get her jack back as well, which is well within her rights to do. Looking longingly over at the corner is Julie. It's not going right in him, but going a fair distance. Thumb peg. Block's just going to go against the bias for a touch and then straighten up and start pegging at the end of its travel. Just going with the slope of the green now. Now it'll start to to run straight and now it'll start to bend if it if it reaches. Just got to get there. Yeah, just left it short a little bit, a couple of yards. Yeah, Alexis seems to have set it off inside Julie's. Yeah, it's, it's just inside it, just all on a length now. Just Line's sli excellent. Slip down and then peg a little bit at the death. Well, it's won it, but it's not a great response, really. It's a yard, good yard short of running. Julia has, has learnt from the first. She's put it inside. Best side to be on. 
It will peg at the finish, but it won't go anywhere now. Good ball. Right side. Now then, Alexis, have you have you put any running in this ball? Are you any further? Need to miss your own and be a perfect length for it to come at the finish. It's not going to look at it now. Too far. Goes out. Another one. 17-13. Alexis will be wondering how long ago it was when she was, since she was 9-1 up. She was playing so well at 9-1, really. At 9-1, she just gave Julie a, a little bit of room along the east stand edge. There was probably a yard, and she just got in. Back into the corner. Finger by us down to the shop. Nice mark, this. I, I've played it a lot over the years. It pegs, and then it runs straight and just starts drifting again at the finish. Easy to be too far now because it's all run past the jack. All downhill into this corner once you're into it. Look at it go, just trickling on. Now Alexis is on a good road. Excellent road. Lens not so bad either, can't finish. Won't finish so far off. Not two feet, something like that. Ball. Need to be beaten. Now, Julie, she's taken some out. Yeah, good road. Excellent road. Wins it. Good ball. Ooh, where have you put that? That came out at a jaunty angle, I'm afraid. Mm, Almost like she squiffed it out. Yeah, everything's wrong with that. One more to Julie. 18-13. There wasn't an awful lot wrong with the road. The uh, Alexis' first ball, it would have just gone back against the bias if she'd have been a perfect length. And she just over, over corrected. 18 13, she's three good balls away from home. Yeah, Karen Galvin's nearly arm against the uh, Alma Cornthwaite. 18 12. And Julie set this on a on a harder mark. Running down a bit of a spine into that corner. If you're anything outside the line, it'll run straight. Anything tight, it'll peg away. You've got to be fairly close to it. Just short, should have been had a had a touch here, should have been two yard further. Alexis is on a decent road. We're right behind the end here. You can see see the ball going. Towards the jack. Needs to run. Can't get there. Yeah, Barry Boo, the interested spectator, just giving Julie a bit of advice. Not sure if that's a good thing or not. Good road, this. Needs to miss her own and bend. Miss her own and peg. Just, just gone a little bit past, but not so bad. In a couple of yards of running in this as Alexis. She's giving it more to do than a first. Can she miss that ball? She miss it and then it needs to start stopping now. As it goes out. Goes out with a miss. That's another two. Twenty. Another two. Almost there. Alexis has just gone off. Julie won't care though. She's eyeing up this this place in the semi-final of the ladies champion of champions one good ball that's all it's going to take the South Staff's representative I've just noticed she's one of the Wolf supporter Mel yeah, there's, a, there's a connection going on there I'm is just, a I need connection to, yeah. I need to try and work this one out see the ticket holder at the Wolves see, yeah. it, see her there it, no, I'm not. I'm not going down that road. I'm well, surprised Julie's come in this. The other boys have been playing yeah, so well, but yeah, she's I'm got a good, good ball. This is 
Tell you what, she won't want it back. That's as, uh, that's as good as they get there. If, if Alexis licks that, she deserves it. Well, she's a little bit tighter. She's a little bit inside the line. I don't think she's travelling. Not going to get that. Very tight, Alexis. And Julie should just play the same ball. Put one a yard off. Just make another. And then let Alexis worry about what she's going to do. Got to get another. Just got to finish. Trickle down that hill. Don't get by the other. Don't make a target. Ooh, a little bit of a target, but... Putting her hopes on a dead draw. Line's good. The line is good. All on a weight now. All on a pace. Can it stop? Can it stop? Can it stop? No! Oh, that's unlucky, Alexis. That was a you know, perfect land, Andrew. It was. A pace. Yeah, result. Julie through to the, the semi finals after the good comeback. Win 21 13 from 9 1 deficit. And the other game has also finished with um, Karen Galvin defeating Alma 21 12. So, with that, I think we'll go to a quick commercial break. Okay, welcome back. There we have the scores on the the doors from the quarterfinals. Katrina Earl 21-16. Game we featured earlier. Um, Sue Pugh uh, really made a game of that, Andrew, didn't she? Yeah, it, uh, Katrina didn't, didn't just play as... I don't think either of them played as well as they did the first two games, but uh, Katrina looked like being a comfortable winner at one point and Sue dragged her right back into it. And a couple of good leads, it could have been even closer. Yeah, and uh, Tracy Mosley caused quite upset beating former winner Melisa 21-15 that's probably the upset of the day so far yeah I would say it is but uh, the way Melisa played Melisa played I always get that wrong uh, she didn't really deserve to win to be fair uh, Tracy played tidy well yeah Karen Galvin 21-12 always in control wasn't she yeah from start to finish I think she had a big big lead 10-11-0 uh, and it was always a bit too much for Alma to, to drag back and Julie, as we, we just saw, terrific performance to come back from 9-1 deficit to win 21-13. So that's it. So we're going to go back to the uh, semi-finals just about to start. First ends on. And we've got uh, the favourite, Katrina Earl and Tracy Mosley, we just said. Goes upset, putting out Malisa Earl. But Tracy won the, the toss, set the first mark with her blue balls. Right, so we're just looking at she's uh, been as best she done in this was in 2013 she reached the second round Good ball there just about got in Andrew isn't it yeah just uh, difficult to judge these blue balls you can't tell a lot from them but uh, good ball there I'm, I'm sure that we watched her last year here uh, in the earlier rounds um, she might have been the first game we showed I, I, I do remember seeing her now Katrina's attacked this end, looking for the ball. Wrong one. And, uh, can she have make two massive upsets on the bounce? Would uh, is that part of the the, the plan? Well, used to know. We'll know in about 45 minutes' time. Tracy's here representing South Derbyshire. She won their merit. The other game will be going on shortly. Karen Galvin and Julie Alderman. Uh, latest betting: Katrina four to six favourite. Tracy five to one. Karen three to one. Julie three to one. So they have Karen and Julie uh, even there. Take your pick. Well, I would say that Karen would have more knowledge of the green than Julie, but uh, on the way that they've played the last game, Julie played very well indeed. Um, so maybe maybe it's right, maybe it is too close to call. As we were saying earlier, Katrina and Karen have both won this three times. They hold the joint record. Could be a shootout between the two of them to break the record. Yeah, it wouldn't be a bad way to sort it out. Three times winners playing each other. 
Of course, it's not a foregone conclusion. Tracy and Julie will be trying the hardest to uh, put the mockers on any ideas of a fourth time win. Well, she looks okay again here. Yes, she's settled on a length fairly well, fairly early mm -hmm. on in the game. Good bowl. The blue bowls, comedian bowls, two and eight ounce, Andrew. Two pound eight ounce, fair, low density, so they run well. I always thought they changed colour chameleon balls, but Were they something to do with culture club or that karma uh, chameleon? I don't something know. Like Can't I, I'm not into Boy George or anything like that, I'm afraid, Mel. That's more your era. Mm. I mm. were liking that music yesterday that they oh, were right, playing yeah. next door. Yeah. Packing me box and big fish, little fish <laughs> and all that nonsense. Where's my glow stick? <coughs> I see. Again. Katrina not quite settled on the length at the moment. Well, I think Katrina will have to just, just raise a game back to the, the level she was playing at in the first two rounds. I thought she was just off the boil a little bit. She uh, just struggled. Just struggled for, for a length and she didn't look comfortable playing the mark she was playing. I was surprised she didn't go a bit further than she was doing. Better here. Yeah, good ball that. Needed it. Now then, Tracy, can you put that yard of running in? Road looks good. Bit of a chance this, you know. Mrs. Katrina's just on the peg. Just gone out. Big effort. Now then, Katrina, can you knock these two off? Oh, just missed it. Yep, two down. I think she'd have been happy if she'd have been knocked off court <laughs> by a ball of Karen Galvin's on it way past. Yeah, it's amazing how many times it happens to your good uns. It never really happens to your bad uns. Well, not to me anyway. Heading for the corners, Katrina. This is the sort of distance I thought she'd be settling on. We made some comments about the Waterloo finals and men's champions about everybody playing short marks and round edges and into middle because of the way of the green. And we're just looking at these last four and three of the four, all they've been doing is playing corners. Corner bowling, yeah. Mm. Just shows what the men know, doesn't it? Yeah. Fearless, these women. Absolutely. A bit concerned, Andrew, as well. Everybody in the studio seems to be eating apart from... Women. Yeah, they, they, I've do, noticed I mean, that. There's, you know, it's... I, I think, bought... Yeah. I bought a box of celebration chocolates and they've all gone. And we've had nothing. We've had absolutely nothing. Not yeah. even had a black... A, a coffee brought. Nothing. How many of these things is this mic stand? I can't but see you, Mel. You must yeah. be... Move Standard away from it. Yeah. I can't see you. We should join this test match special team, Andrew, with aggers and blowers. Aggers, they, they get correct, cakes and things. They get cakes and all them. sorts. We yeah. I mean... Blowers can sounds right, doesn't it? I'm not... <laughs> sounds quite rude. I mean, it's, it seems a long time ago since we were at the All England and somebody sent me a pint of lager up. That's the sort of thing we want. Mm. Getting nothing. Katrina's good ball there, good second ball, counted count the end, three apiece, all level again. This this fearless Katrina, she's going to go right in them, I think. Yeah, gone further than she did against Sue. I'm now ignoring the production team. Talking rubbish. <laughs> Asking me if I want a bacon butty, I don't eat bread. Good ball. Yeah, good lead. Now that's the sort of land she was playing in the first two rounds and she never went, went that far against Sue and, and she just seemed to struggle a bit. I'm trying to see something wrong with that. Just can't reach. She can't let, allow Katrina to get away in the corners. 
Well, she's a bit like a machine when you let her get going. She's just monotonous, playing the same length, roading them time after time. Look at this. Good balls. Two reelings. Well, Tracy, have you reached? Have you have you roaded it though? That's the main thing now. Who needs a road? Length looks great. Oh, just outside it left two. Out. Perfect length. Good two. I have my own theories about uh, these ladies playing the corners. Well, I'm not sure I can share it, to be honest. You know. I know a lot of men, in particular, whenever they play a lady, they, they think that they've got to go as far as they can. Mm. I don't hold that view. I mm. do the opposite, short as I can. You're saying the ladies are all a bit heavy-handed, Andrew? I'm saying that, uh, yeah, well, I suppose I am in a roundabout sort of a way, yeah. I just think that... the, the I don't think the strength thing's that much of an issue, unless the green's particularly heavy or wet. Um, and I, I learnt a long number of years ago when I got out chucked on here by Irene Reardon in the water that uh, going full corners isn't the answer. Yeah, Tracy, we're saying here, needs a pick up, rest it, yeah, good ball. Good ball, yeah, she gave it a chance. Reached up, fortune favoured the brave. Now Katrina's nothing to sit on here. He's looking tight. Yeah. yeah the chance the for other semi final at the moment. Karen Galvin three, Julie Alderman one. Chance for Trace to get two, but she'll have to take a bit of running out of her first. This looks tight. Don't think it can stop either. Needs to stop, can't do. Just the one. I oh, should be pleased to get the jack in hand and out the corners. <laughs> we saw behind them a eh? good advert there for the uh, the new Cypress Bowls tournament going on next March. I believe the £10,000 prize money. Good to see another overseas event, Andrew. If you say so, Mel. Well, I'll be been? there. Yeah, I thought you might be. Yeah, you'll be there. Where's Muggins? <laughs> yeah, work again. I don't know. Yeah, we'll be uh, doing a bit of filming at that competition, Andrew, so you'll be able to see us <laughs> in our bikinis in the sun. I don't want to see you in a bikini, Mel. Oh, the thought horrifies me. Now, yeah. Lynn, on the other hand... No, it's a mankini I've got. <laughs> oh. I think we need to update our pictures, by the way, on the uh, on the screens. I'll get, get you in a Borat mankini. <laughs> I just want any other than the one I've got. Oh, Tracy, she's that's three ends. She's not really led again there, is she? No, it's, it's, it's really is the secret to this game. If there is a secret, just leading. And it, it sounds obvious, but this might go off, you know, if it passes the jack. Goes, can't stop today. That's a bad end. Bad, bad end. You can get away with it for a few ends playing good second balls, but eventually the pressure tells. You can't keep pulling them out of the bag. Oh, miss that, Katrina. Ooh. Nearly knocked it in. Can this stop? Nearly gone off. This goes off. Well. I think Katrina's well. not playing quite as well this game. No. Maybe thinking they can't stop for the final. Well, let's just put it down to a, a blip. That was a. I'm sure they'll come back fighting. Katrina heading up to the northwest corner. Scored a lot of chokes. Up there. Looking on a good road, all about pace. Needs to stop. Well, 
Not a bad lead, just over 15 inch. This looks a bit tighter. A little bit tighter, but if it stops a length, it wins it. Stops a length. Run on well, that Andrew, for you know, a smaller 2 did, 8 bolt. Did finish well. They do run well. That, um, Katrina's a only 2.6, two six. she plays it. A little bit tighter with this. Falling back to it. Just needs to stop now. He's made another Andrew. Now then, Tracy, have you took anything out? Needs to stop. Good ball. Yeah, very good ball. Tracy's playing better to... Uh, when Katrina sets the mark at the moment, yeah. Andrew. I think she should send the jack off this next end. She can't get a lead herself. To put pressure on Katrina. Well, we just had some disastrous news, Mel. Apparently West Brom have just taken the lead against Burnley. That's a shock. Massive. Against the odds. Was. And the other game, Karen Galvin, Julie Oldham is now three across. Well, Tracy, have you led one? Look a little bit quick. Just can't lead. No. It should be better chucking Jack off and letting Katrina send it the way where she's playing at the minute. I've seen that done a few times as well. Katrina's got a length here. Won't finish so bad. Maybe just a couple of feet, but she's certainly playing a better length than Tracy. Now then, as she rectified it, she's took a bit of pace out. If this gets on that brown, it goes in. Yes, good ball. Just won it. Just needs any, any sort of running in. It's come out nice enough. Certainly further. I need it to stop now. I just zoom on through. That was done. Yeah, good correction to trace it. Yeah, she's having to do. She's putting herself under a lot of pressure with these leads. It's. Uh, I think. I think Katrina could be in a world of pain if uh, if Tracy gets gets leading. Well, she needs to set them up. Like it's zooming through again, are you? Well, as you said, Andrew, she can just get a lead. You can put a lot of pressure on Katrina, which she's giving it two yards every yeah. time. Just not, just not happening for her at the minute. I think she needs to try something new. Either go a lot shorter or an awful lot further. But this, this particular length, she's just struggling with it. Oh, Katrina's not punished it. She's tightened it a lot. Never be a touch here, but it might just win it. Not so bad. And change, change peg as Katrina. She's not entertaining that thumb peg. This has reached. Missed the jack, or she might give a two. Ooh. Got a little bit scrappy at the minute. She just edged in front, Tracy, by not playing particularly well, Andrew. Well, it's uh, it's not so bad when it happens for you. Mm. It's uh, if you can get in a game and playing badly, what happens when you start playing well? That's what she'll be thinking now. If I can start leading, I, I can win this game. That's five to one here in the semi-finals. Not looking too bad at the moment. She keep playing. 
I'm sure the, uh, the bookie would be quite happy if uh, Katrina was no longer in the tournament. He'd be delighted. I think that's the best lead she's played so far, this game. And even that's, you know, two feet off it. If you have any if you have any plans on winning a champion of champions event, you should be beating those balls really. And I think she has. She's played a decent length, avoided the, the ball. Now then, Tracy. Have you put that bit of running in? You have. Need to pick the jack up now. Needs it. Oh. Just gone. Now she's just thinking about what she's doing. She'll yeah. she'll turn over. Yeah, turning a peg. Come Can't afford to hit that short blue ball. Yeah, she's road looks great. Road looks perfect. Length looks good. Yeah, good ball, Katrina. Very good. I think we'll be probably trying the different corner. She's had no success going from the hotel corner. Well, she's she'll be heading across to the Taurus, will she? Well, I think she should. She's she's not uh, she's not had a lot a lot of success this game in that northwest corner. I mean, she's counted a lot of balls to, up there today, but just not this game. So, trying the other corners. Finger peg. Certainly reached. Certainly reached. Can he hit the jack? Pick the jack up. Oh, it's not so bad now. It no, needed it. Killed it a bit. It's probably gone another four feet without yeah. the, a nibble on the jack. Tracy looks a bit tighter. She's uh, tight and short and ooh, everything wrong with that ball. She needs to forget about that one. Learn from it. She's rolled it as Katrina. Looks like she's put the uh, put the pace issues right. This can't be so bad. It's maybe a couple of feet short. Two two decent balls that need beating. Now can Tracy give us a master class now to put four yard into a ball? She's tighter. <coughs> tighter might win it on a perfect length. Just pegged out, has it? Yeah, tree. Having a look around, looks yeah. like two from here. Waiting for Tracy to confirm. Confirm things, just the one. Uh, playing finger peg up into the Shop corner, southwest corner of the green. Fairly straight, Mark. Don't want to give it a lot to do. It won't look at it. I think she's bang up a road here. Anywhere near a length, this is a real one. And it is. Good ball. A great view of that from our yep. commentary position, Andrew, coming straight to us. It never looked like being anything else other than a front toucher from hand. Well, this is roaded as well, you know. This has got a bit of a squeak if it's here. Can't just get... Not a bad reply. Would have been better just past the jack. Would have given an option with a second ball, but... No real danger for Katrina. She can afford to play up. Needs to finish. Road's good again. Needs to run. Just the one. Not sure what Tracy can do here. She might need to well. spring in off her own blue ball. She'll yeah. certainly give it some yeah. pace. Yeah. Anything could happen now. Might take her own out. She has. It's unlucky. That yeah. Right ball, but wrong result, Andrew. Well, that was the only problem with, with playing that shot. She, there was a chance to take her own out. She she couldn't afford to play short at it. It just she got tight as well. And if she'd have hit it anything other than full, there might have been a result. But uh, hard lines. 
Good attack. Heading back down towards the northeast corner of the green. Again, another fairly straight mark. You don't want to get outside the jack. This will never come back to the jack. It'll just start drifting and drifting and drifting. Look at it. Drifting with the with the slope of the green. Trace is better. Better land. All about the pace. We'll just drift back. There it goes. Yeah, it's a good one, this, if it's a land. Good one now. Might rather have it than lick it. Oh, she's learnt. Might be inside it now. Needs to stop. Looks pacey. Go on. Right down the same uh, avenue this is. Well, she's not sure herself. Rest her arm ball to stop it. Two. Well, that's one way of doing it. Oh, with a miss, you'd have been in ladies' toilet. Uh, no point playing short, is there? Yep, yeah, she needs to lead again, Tracy. Well, if you think about all the ends they've played, if, if she'd have made a lead, she'd have been three or four chalks back off. She'd have been in, in firm control of this game. Going over towards the, the cop. Maybe ten yards in from the edge of the green. All uphill from when, where they are. Now then, needs to bend a little bit. Pace was good. Yeah, one of the better leads. The only thing that's bad, Tracy, she's been trying every, every time she's set a mark, in a different part of the green, Andrew. Trying everything. Yeah. Better uh, Get inside, it. it wins it. Good ball. Can't just shake Katrina off, can she? No. She just tighten the land up a little. Pace is good again, you know. Just needs to finish on that brown. Just couldn't make it. Ooh. Didn't come out so clean that one, Katrina. Probably a nose end. Needs to miss that. It's always tight. Katrina's not convinced it's only one. She can't believe she hasn't made two. Calling for pegs. Yeah, we're waiting for the measures. The prize winner today, £2,000, Andrew. Winner gets 300 It's a nice little pick-up. Oh, it's not so bad, is it? The sponsors today uh, by John and Pat Crowther. They oh, sponsor nice. so well done to them. They do such a lot for the game, don't they? Hard-working. Yeah, they do. Hard-working couple. Crown Green's answer to Posh and Bex. <laughs> oh, I suddenly lost the ability to speak. Ah, dear me. Tracy was right, it was just the one. And Katrina's just mulling over where she's going. And glancing around the green. Yeah, she's made her mind up. Finger peg, back down towards the toilets. The other semi finals are real nip and tuck. It's uh, currently 6 5 to Julie Alderman over Karen. That's after 11 ends as well, Mel. It is, yeah. Whew. Thriller in Manila. Well, in perfect row, but just short. Well, nothing in yet. Well, Katrina's officially in, but I can't see that first ball counting, really. 
long, long way off. A real scrappy game, isn't it? It has. It's turned scrappy. It, it didn't look like it was going to be. Uh, they both played, you know, been playing well, and that's more like it. That's that's the Katrina we know. Oh, then Tracy, you're looking tight. You're looking a bit tight here. But I may have been okay on the uh, on a length, but uh, just saved. There, yeah. He's just been a yard in. Gonna push the ball out. Run the jack to around. I think Katrina's just playing a slightly stronger bias ball than Tracy. That one of Katrina's pegged up quite substantially compared to Tracy's. Different road in. Don't know much about these Cabelia bowls Tracy's playing with. Have you ever played with them or I've, know anything about them? I've never had a set of Cabelia. They're one of the few few make of bowls I've never had, but uh, the all, all coloured bowls. Um, nice warm feeling to them. I think they're slightly lower density than, than standard bowls. Um, and a lot of people are still playing with it. I'm not sure you can even buy them anymore. Well, Katrina again, left of four feet. Yeah, neither of them just nailing these these leads. Mm -hmm. This needs to run. Can't reach. Mm. Well, got roads good. Needs to run. No further. Well, slightly, but still a good yard of room yeah. there. I think from Katrina's point of view, they're smacking the road. This isn't on a road. This isn't on a road. Never seen a road. Needs to peg round, round corners to get in there. Possibly have saved one, maybe. Hmm. Didn't even deserve to save, to be honest with you. It wasn't. I think Tracy overcorrected it. The, the reason a lead went where it was was because it was short. It, there was nothing up with the road. And they're calling for tapes. And they're always on the far side of the green. Always the case. They're just taking a moment out, waiting for these measures. <coughs> Tracy needs to be thinking about how she can start leading. I thought she'd been lacking, Andrew. Yeah. And Katrina's thinking, if I get to this two, it's uh, I'm nearly there. I'm even being barracked while I'm commentating, you know. Could only happen to me. How's Burnley doing at the moment anymore? Latest result, have they got back in the game, <coughs> Andrew? You know, you can fall out with some people. I just asked a simple you question. You can fall no, out I with some. No people. idea what the score is. How did you get on in, in Division One this morning? Did you manage to scrape a draw? Was yeah, it? Yeah, we, we got a draw. Yeah. A tremendous result down in the whatever league it is. Mighty Wolves are in as bad as Leeds fans. Yeah, but we'll probably be passing Burnley next year. I doubt it. This is a good ball, Tracy. Just trickle down that hill. Stop uh, quick. Stop quick. Because it's not had any sun on it this afternoon. It's been fairly overcast. Not really changed in pace. I think the green's been more consistent than yesterday. Yeah, I agree. Later in the afternoon, the cloud cover went and the green seemed to speed up. And unlike yesterday, the two semi-finals are two good games you can wish to see. Uh, not quite good at the moment with these. No, they, they spread them around a little bit, to say the least. Uh, Tracy. Well, Must win. Well, if it stops like a first and did. Uh, two down. Well, 11-14. Same street again. 
Same need for a lead. Interesting to see where she decides to go. Not really settled on any particular mark. Heading towards where the other game's mat is. Northwest corner, thumb peg. Quite a long mark up, up this edge. That's a better lead. It's 18 inches short. It's on a tricky piece of land there. Anything past the jack, it's, it'll go too far. What can Katrina do here? Needs to miss it. That's a good ball. Oh, seems to go a long way at the finish there. there. There's, a, there's a little drain there. The three uh, three best leads of Tracy's. Katrina's actually licked, but um, when she played a couple of yards, well, got nowhere near. Good road. Needs to drop its sand now. Just keeps just mm. keeps going. And then Katrina's going to check with the referee, Evelyn Hastings. Hmm. Well, not sure, Evelyn. She's a good judge. Well, giving him another circuit. Any any conclusion as to who was in? Oh, didn't seem to give in any indication. The referee there must be close. Well, this needs to just run now. Right up to the jack. It's a good ball. That, what's that out? That's certainly one. Yeah, must be a measure. Just uh, while they're doing the measures, quick glance at the other game. And Julie Alderman is edged away. She leads Karen Galvin 11-6. There's only one. Fifteen eleven. Getting closer, slowly but surely. <laughs> oh, she's trying a bit of a an Ellis tactic. We saw that in the final of the Waterloo. He played a very short mark up to the crown of the green. Katrina's trying it herself, slightly different area. Can't be so bad, this just needs to finish. Maybe pulled up a yard, it's, it's done bad really. Better than that, going across. It's gone through a lot of brown, isn't it? Yeah. It'd be easy for Tracy to go whizzing through. I don't think she's put it down light enough. I think it's all right, this. If it misses it, needs to miss it. Might have pegged out that, it was, it was always tight, it was always going to be inside it, but it, it sort of finished finish bad, it's quite a shallow mark. Now then Katrina, maybe you put that yard in. Looking like it, looking a lot better. Good un. yeah, rectified it. Might only be the one though. Now then. Certainly far enough this Andrew. Looks to back with pace. Can't look at it. Two. Armpit job. Two. Strange ball, really. Mm. Two down. Maybe she didn't know. Oh. Uh, big end for Katrina. Tactics worked. Yeah, stole a pair there. It's the way you want to do it. This is a good mark. It's actually quite pushy to there. Oh, she stuck this out. I don't think it'll do all that, will it? It's trying its head off, but I don't think it'll get back to the jack. Hey then, Tracy, what have you learnt from Katrina's lead there? 
Yeah, she's put it tighter. Better ball. Good response. Still room though. Tighten the line up. Wins it. Yeah, good correction. Good ball. Now then, now then, Trace, have you tightened it too much? Stuck it tight. Can't win it. <coughs> Starting to look a little bit dark for Tracy. Yeah, she doesn't really settle us and punish them. Katrina's not been at her best in this game. Tracy the opportunities to make a few shots, but well, it's gone away. How often do we say that about Gary Ellis not playing at his best? You know, he's played 75% of his abilities this season. Won't Waterloo and about 30 other comps. That's the way good players do it. They good ball again. If they're struggling, they scramble out of games. That's the first really good lead we've seen this second half of the game. Trace is just all mm. lengths gone now. Yeah, she didn't need to play that that strong, did she? Needed a close bowl and yeah. if anything, a bit of pace in the next sent one. this. She's not sent that, but she got another. Has Tracy start played another rambler or has she just tried to save? Too big again. Goes out now. All brown there. Left a deuce. Armpit job all yeah, day long. Just uh, lost the length and everything, isn't she, Tracy? Yeah, I think I think it's just gone a bit a bit pear-shaped. Compared to how she played in the last game against uh, Melisa Herbert. Very, very well. She's put this down a nice line as well. Good not you know, One for game. Good not Might be satisfied with that. A little bit of room. Yeah, just a foot short. But the way Tracy's played the last five minutes, it, it should be good enough. Nearly licked it here. Nearly. Yeah. Always happens. Now then, Katrina. Now then. Peg and run. Good ball. Yeah, good ball. Well, surely Tracy's got to come at it the other boy. She's not. No, she's not. She's stuck to the finger peg. It'll have to be a perfect ball, this. It's close, you know. Close. Very close. What a good ball. Good shot. What do we know? Great ball. Probably too late to save the game, but... I'll just settle her down. Not quite sure what choice you'll do now. Where she go, Andrew? Uh, I don't know. I'd, I'd, I'd try something different. She's just played the same length all game. She's got to really either go very short or very long, in my opinion. You know, I don't think you're going to just lose Katrina playing 30 yards and bread and butter for her, that. Um, always happens though when you're game down I mean she could have had 30 goals at beating that ball up that peg and not done it oh, she's going all through the the brown areas of the green here yeah not gonna be a million miles away this one not so bad but a bit of room a little two six balls can they run it's all trickled, but I don't think it's going to get there. Ooh, just pulled up. Anything past that goes in. Now then, Tracy, have you put that couple of feet are running in or have you whooshed it? The way it's travelling, it's, I think she's whooshed it. Goes off now. 
Mm. Anything in your own, Katrina. Futter running gets you in there. Done it a million times before. Oh, she's definitely further. Might be too far. She's hung it out. She's hung it out. Little two sixes. Can you stop? Not today. Oh, Katrina. She would normally put ten balls in there, wouldn't she, Andrew? She would indeed. Just a bit, a little bit of pressure. Semi-final of the Champ of Champs. These supposedly easy balls suddenly become a bit more difficult. Tracy set a, a longer mark. In the other game, Karen Galvin's certainly back in it now. She was 12-6 adrift to uh, Julie Alderman. It's now 10-12. Closing the gap. All in singles. <laughs> of course. Could be a long wait for the, uh, the winner of this semi-final. Semi-finals going. It might be another half hour yet. <coughs> yeah, good ball, Katrina. Tracy caught herself out. Went to the heavier corner, finger peg, which is a heavier, heavier way into it anyway. Now then. Now then. Can you get there? Can you finish? Can you run? Good ball, Tracy. Good ball. Yeah, it is good correction. She's just hanging in, Andrew. Yeah, just hanging on with her fingernails. Fighting for a life at this late stage. She's attacked it. On with pace. Yeah, she likes walking it as after well. it. Likes it. Oh, kill the end. Done the end. Nullified end. Needs to be replayed. Tracy gets to set the mark. Send the first ball. Matt must be a metre on from the edge. Yeah. Never ever seen anybody measure or contest that, Andrew, have you? I have. I had that discussion with Alan earlier on, first game. I have seen it done once. <laughs> well, she's gone for these three-quarter corners, playing a difficult thumb-peg mark over the crown. A lot of brown. Downhill finish. Katrina would probably play at the finger peg slightly easier. Well, have you led one, Tracy? Have you led one? Well, it's not too bad. Four feet off. Last time she set that mark early in the game, Katrina now run on his head. Yeah. Looks a better road. Looks a better road, needs to stop, needs to stop. Trickling on. Yeah, it's, looks like it's got in. Tracy needs to find another one, she did last in. Well, she looks further. Bit more, bit more land. Needs to run now. Further it runs, the better. Has it? Don't know, can't tell from here. There's mm. two referees looking, still no response. I just think they're trying to use uh, telepathy. Oh, Tracy's already pointed to Korea. That's that. That's that. Katrina through, 21 12, scrappy game. Andrew needs to improve if you're going to lift this for a fourth time. Well, scrappy game, but she got 21, and that's all she'll be thinking of. It doesn't really matter how you win as long as you win. Um, you know, Gary Ellis proved that you, c you don't have to play your best to win these big comps, but uh, it certainly helps if you do. Uh, she'll just be happy to be in the final. Well, we're going to be switching over to the other game at the moment. Uh, Karen Galvin is clawing her way back. 12-6 adrift, now it's 12 across, all singles. Karen's uh, playing mark across from east, east to west. 
Julie had been playing the corners, uh, which is normally Karen's natural game, but Julie's been playing them very, very well. Yeah, Karen's had to alter the way she normally plays, but she knows a lot about the green. It, it, you know, she won't be upset about having to come out of them. She'll just find another mark, and she's playing her thumb peg just off, off the crown. Still going a, a reasonable distance here. You wouldn't like to walk it so far. Julie just needs a length here. Good line. Yeah, road's perfect. Just needs to run. It's actually started slowing down a bit, Mel. I don't I don't mm. I don't think they've had any I don't think they've had any sun on it really this afternoon. It's not changed any pace. And that was the re reverse of yesterday, wasn't it? As the day went on, it got quicker. It got quicker until the final when mm. the green was in total shade. Karen, and something's wrong with that. No, Julie. Can you punish six singles from uh, Karen? She can get a, a double in. Fetches them back a little. Twos wins games. To do indeed. She Needs to right? run. Needs pace. to run. On its hands and knees, but yeah, just, just got one. Stocking feet job. Just get how many times you see that, Mel? You get right back in a game, you yeah. claw your way back and then spread two. You think you've done the hard work. And I think you just relax that little bit and lose concentration. I would think Julie will be heading into the corners, coming to our commentary position. In uh, Julie's thumb peg, which I would have thought would have suit, suited the left hander. You'll know a bit more about that than I will. I think you should be banned all of I can't stick playing left handers, Andrew, I'll be I honest. Know, that's uh, good. Uh, You're that used to, to yeah. diddling us with mm. right handers <laughs> with your silly deliveries. That's not so bad. And Karen's always had a lovely delivery, and she yeah. just strokes them out. Lovely and sweet. It's not like yours. Yours looks like a <laughs> toilet door hanging off its hinges. Yeah. You'd be coming off the Christmas card list, Andrew, at this level. I don't think I got one last year. Mm. I sent you one of them lovely padded ones with balloons on and teddy bears and all that in a box. And what did I get? One of them 15p jobs from Asda. It's a card shopping, can it? Mm. It's tempe. Yeah, my major spent that much. I noticed it didn't have a stamp on it. I had to go to the post <laughs> office and pay 63 pence. The referee going to make a decision? No. Yeah, saying Julie's in. I'm sure they're using telepathy to try and tell the players who's in. I don't think it's working. Well, I'm liking this road. I'm liking this road if she's... Karen doesn't, she's dropped her head. The road's well, she somebody. must be short. That's the only thing. The road was absolutely nailed on. Well... She didn't like it. She didn't like it, but he's won it. Oh, give up, says Lynn. Yeah. And Karen. yeah. That's why Lynn's not on the green anymore. Yeah. That's why I might make the decision in doubles as well. She got one one good eye and that's glass. Now it's Karen's turn to send the jack out into the far distance. Ah, this is a change of plan because he's uh, duly forced her out the corners early doors. Really strange that, Andrew. I mean, Karen's scored six singles across the middle of the green and then... Uh, Ventured into the corners, although we all know it's a, a natural game. She's had it's tremendous success on this green, and she was well, the champions and the Waterloo, and won a load of doubles with uh, with Tommy Johnston. I think sometimes you just get on a mark that you think, yeah, I remember this one. I remember putting them close. I'm I'm going to go for it, and that's probably what she she's thought here. Good line, Julie. I mean, this is probably the mark Julie would have gone on. Yeah, she'd have gone the same place. Mm -hmm. There's not a lot wrong with this if it stops. Hits it. Ooh, stuck in. <laughs> Referee's not used to doing this much work. Oh, just about bends down. Should 
She was on just a ball outside the road. That was all that was up with the first. The length was good. She's on a similar road, I'm afraid. I think she might need a connection. If she sits it full, she might. Oh, she's knocked it out. Should be a simple double for Julie. Good road again. All on a pace. Needs a length. Yeah, good un. Nice two. Maybe, like you say, a bit of a tactical error. Why did she change? What was what got her back in the game? Yeah, I mean, Karen, as we were saying, she's clawed her way back with six singles and well, seven singles. You count the last end, and Julie's I and mean, she's popped in with two doubles. Karen's possibly led the jack out as often as Julie. Mm. Yeah, all about your pairs. Perfect game, seven doubles and seven singles, that's what you're aiming for. She stroked this one out. Right hand as thumb peg. Up into the shop corner. All uphill now. Now it starts to run a little bit. Just tight, length was good. So all that ailed it. Again, I think this mark suits her left hand a little bit more, dragging him up with the bias of the ball. This will finish showcase a good one. This is the sort of mark that Duncan played in his prime. Won five Waterloo's on this type of mark. Playing those sorts of balls. I thought Julie would have come at it the other boys after yeah. the last end. Well, I think it would have suited her, her delivery more. I mean, the like I said, the left this favours the left hander going with the bias of the of the of the jack. I was just stroking him out. Just needs to finish now, and it's a good one. Yeah, another two. All of a sudden, they're counting twos every yeah, end. Both, both of them probably had the tactical errors there. <coughs> Over to Sky News for a, a goal flash. Miss Bromwich Albion, three. Burnley, nil. Did I tell you I was a Chelsea fan? Did you not know that? It's still time. Yeah, for a fourth. Yeah. Burnley been in this position before, Andrew. Many, many, many times. Still lost. Yeah. Yeah, biggest cheer of the day when the marker picked the board up to show the the crowd the score. Because there's two ladies stood in front of it. Well, the one is uh, Irene Reed, and who's uh, just standing in front of the scoreboard. Yeah, as you do. Well, why don't somebody ask her to move? She's actually doing the board. Well, Kevin, that's not a good lead at all. Maybe frightened a little bit by the jack. It's very near the edge. It, anything, anything a length would nearly go off. This is further. Yeah, it needs to get down that that drain now. This is a good one. It's a good one. Will it stop? Oh wow! Never, never. Never in a million years of that going off, Andrew, is it? Incredible. Wow. Well, that just shows how quick the green's playing today. Oh, Karen's not got that away no. very well at all. She's kicked the ground. Came out like a down. baby giraffe said that. Oh, terrible. Oh, it's counting two. There's we saying what a wonderful delivery Karen's yeah. got and scabbed two out. She delivered that like a one arm midwife. Now then the danger is Julie might not send this ball. Ooh. Might not send it. She's not on a road. She's no length. Everything's wrong with it. Apart from that, it's alright. Surely it's not two. Well that picture suggests it is. It's like an explosion in a bowls factory, that. Just the one. 
Can't believe that in. Semi final of a champion of champions for two class players and spray them all over Blackpool. Reminds of reminds me of an end we played one smelling in all England. And every end you played was like that in that day, wasn't it? <coughs> we played on a ice rink somewhere it in was. Manchester, wasn't it? <laughs> I think I thought it was made of concrete to be fair. Mm. I've never seen never seen a bowling green that quick for a long number of years. Mm, I've got to say it's one of the quickest I've ever played on. And all I remember is being abused from the sidelines by an octogenarian and a 12-year-old schoolgirl. <laughs> <laughs> Verbally yeah. abused. I hasten to add. Were they supporting <clears throat> me then? They, they were supporting you, yeah. I don't know what I'd done to them. Uh, that's a bit more like it, Julie. Mm, good ball. Have you corrected it? What are we saying, Karen? What are we saying? Not just enough. Just a ball tight. A great effort. Now then. Can she pair up? I don't think she can. Just giving it a little bit too much to do. 17-16. A right thriller. We're going to be on overtime again here, Andrew. Yeah, again. One of these tournaments are finished by now. It's <laughs> just a run of the green, isn't it? It is, yeah. It just shows how quick it's playing. Doesn't help when you have games that are an hour and 25 minutes long either. And we've seen here three days. Friday, they finished the 7.30 in semi-darkness, the pairs. And yesterday, the men's champions dragged on, didn't it? It dragged on and on <laughs> and on. This down nice here as Jules. Yeah, good un. Yeah, it's okay there. 18 inches at the side. Not certain to be licked there. Easy to be far. This is a good road. This is on a real good road. Now it needs a length. Pick it up. Good ball. First ball in, good un. She's give this a bit too much to do, has she? Can't peg all that, surely. I haven't invented a ball yet that'll peg up hill. Could it goes away with a slope now? Now then, Cameron, can you pair it up? Well, she should. She's done it once and she's got room. Road's not bad. Road's not bad. Good two. Good two. 17. She was 12 6 up. That's the first time she's uh, got her nose back in front. Not quite sure where Karen will go now. She's tried everything. Will she go for the corners? They're certainly heading in that direction. Maybe just cutting, in, cutting it tight. Karen's finger peg, my left hander's finger peg, coming off the crown with the slope of the green. You don't want to get tight, you get tight, you'll probably go off if you're anywhere near a length. This is a left hander's mark, this has reached. Doesn't want to go a lot further, unless it picks it up. Nearly goes off now. Just hung on. Fortunate for that to stick there. Got a good five feet. As a right-hander, I'd be turning over at this. I'd be coming at it on the right-hander's finger peg. It doesn't do an awful lot. Julie wouldn't probably know that. Easy to just not give it enough land. Frightened of pushing it out. Needed to punish that, did Julie? Perfect length as well, Andrew. Yeah, yeah. It was just lacking road. If, if Karen can just take that yard of running out of this ball, she's took it out. She's took more than one yard out. Yeah, correct. She needs to run now. Spread him. Spread two again. Well, Julie, big chance. What about this, Andrew? It's reached. It's too far. Can't stop. 
Cannot stop. One down though. I think Julie thought she was short then. She wasn't, was she? She just nipped the land. Yeah, she could have just done with asking. Well, she needed that, didn't she, Julie? I mean, it's all square 18 across, but what should have been a simple two, she'd have been on a finish. That's right. Julie's just uh, cut the mark down a little. Probably uh, just under 30 metres. Some right under some bias. Looking good, this Mel. Yeah, she likes it. Tell she's walking after it. Vault. Karen, can you make the trip? Try it. If it runs, it wins. Yeah, good on this. Oof. Stop quick. Still think he's probably got it. Referees going across. No, she said it's give up. Julie's in. Not sure what Julie can do is she can't really play up. Any touch on Karen's and she's down. Oh, she's not sure. Needs to miss that short ball. Yeah, she's underneath it. Underneath everything. Well, she's a shot for two here. She's a shot for nothing, really. Any any, any touch on any ball is good for Karen. And we can see she's just probably underneath the line. She is. Just underneath. Pace was perfect for the job she wanted. 19-18. Cameron is just making sure, having a good look. Just wishing she'd sent it an inch further. Kicks him in. Now then, Julie. Two chalks away from the final of the ladies. Champion of champions. Can you find us a lead? Desperate for a nose ender here. Just wants to play hide the jack. Line looks good. Line looks very good. Just needs to finish. Just short. Mm, they're pulling up quick here and there, Andrew. Yeah, I, I just don't think the pace is there anymore. I think it's... Uh, Karen's stalking after this one. Needs to run again. Needs to run. Gonna miss it. Just snuck in. Now then, Julie. Are you any further? On a little bit of a different road. I think you're tight. Can't win it. Cannot get there. Julie, Not a good ball, that. What a poor end, that is. Well, Karen's stood on the mat. It looks like a brick wall. She's Julie's ball looks three foot wide. And she's wondering what to do to get another. If it were just another game, it wouldn't be an issue. She'd breeze one in. But all of a sudden, semi-final of champ of champs, it's a different matter. Well, she's further. She's nearly in the back of it. Just inside it. Now then, that little touch on the jack, what difference has it made? Has it made any? No. Two. Well, oh, 2019. Oh, Julie will be cursing herself there. Just when you needed a lead, she got you know one foot in the final, Andrew. Yeah, she she was desperate for a lead, and and she might have just thought she was a bit too close, really, to the final. And one of them things you've got to put out the back of your mind. Callan's chopped the length right down. It's 
not a mile away now here Andrew might drift through a couple of feet yeah needs to stop just quick there oh, she's lining up with that one no, not a bad lead come through a lot of a uh, lot of brown on the green Julie needs to be careful she didn't go sailing through it's a quick mark mm, what's your land like Julie must peg needs to peg Perfect lens. Now then, Kevin. Now then. What a good road this is. Can you run? Needs to finish. Oh, just give it up. Julie's not asked at all who's in. And I thought you'd have needed to know. Well, oh, Kevin's just signal. pointed to it. Referee's pointed to her. She'd already sent it. Now then, quick. has she touched that jack? Goes out. The clap in it, but he's gone out. Never looked like stopping. She didn't compose herself, Julie. I think she thought she wasn't in. I, I reckon Julie thought that last bowl of Karen's had won the end. She just went on the mat and sent it. Oh. You can tell body language. Didn't realise. Wasted opportunity. Very much so. Well, is that the is that the chance that she chance that she needed for game? She had a bit of room. Maybe if she'd have just stepped off the mat and thought about it, she might not be on the green now. Instead, she's got to find a good ball. It's just boiling over nicely this game. Yeah, and three ends earlier, Julie should have made a two as well. Plenty of room. Should have been off the green now, twice. Oh, she's overcooked that, oh, sent it off. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, she won't sleep tonight if she loses this game now. Oh, she should have uh, been off green now, preparing for a final. Now then, Kevin, have you stepped in and took this opportunity? The road's perfect, but the length isn't. It'll never get there. Now then, Julie. Yeah, steady yourself. Steady yourself. Just think about it. Might as well send another one off than leave it short. No, it's not short. Is it on the road? If it's on the road... If it's on the road, it's a good one. It's OK. It's OK, it can't go off. Two and a half feet, yard of room. All she needs is a yard of running. It shouldn't be good enough, really, Andrew. Shouldn't be, but who knows at this game there's a all sorts of pressure on this ball. It's, it looks tight to me. Looks tight to me. Can't win it. Never win it. Well, she's got away with it. <laughs> oh, Julie. As you say, she'd have been cursing herself. She should have lost that one. Scrambled in. Poor end for Karen. She'll be another one who'll not sleep tonight now, Andrew. Yeah, correct. I think they might... Might be uh, a white bottle of wine going down before, before bed tonight. Good game, neither deserved to lose really. Nip and tuck, ebbed and flowed and all that. But uh, amazing finish. Scores on the board there. If we see, just to repeat for the viewers, Katrina Earl, 21-13. Bit of a scrappy game against Tracy Mosley and Karen and Julie. 21-20 to Julie and at the end, neither of them seemed to want to win, Andrew. <laughs> no, they didn't. It was... Uh, who could fall over the line really it uh, wasn't a good finish at all maybe a bit of nerves got to the, b the better of them but uh, anyway it's, uh, we've got what we've got now in the final we've arguably the two that have played best all day so hopefully it uh, should be a good game yeah. and uh, just to remind everyone Katrina going for a record in the champion of champions uh, I think the final that we were, were looking at was possibly Karen, Gal Galvin and Katrina for a shootout. Both have won it three times. I'm sure Katrina will be um, looking to try and get the double. I believe she actually backed herself at 25 to 1 to do a double Waterloo and Champion of Champions. Mm. Good odds. Good odds. I hope uh, she didn't have an awful lot on it with, uh, with Dunk, otherwise he might be walking home for me. Yeah. Um, uh, do we, you, we know the odds for this game in the final? We, we do. If you want to back Katrina, it's 2-5, to five, which means you'll have to put £50 on to win 20. 
If you fancy Julie to win, she's a, a very reasonable seven to four shot. So uh, put your 20 pounds on, you'll get 35 pounds back. Oh, we're waiting for uh, the president, Lynn Anderson, who's hot footed it from the studio to uh, toss the coin to see who leads out. And it looks like Katrina. So here it goes, final of the British Crown Green Ladies Champion of Champions, sponsored by John and Pat Crowther. First prize, £300 out of a £2,000 payoff. I think Katrina is going to be playing some of these short marks and uh, how she finished off with Tracy a lot when did just... Uh, I'm not sure if she's taken a, a lead from Gary Ellis who uh, played these type of marks as we saw in the Waterloo. Andrew wasn't confident with the distance. No, well, she's probably watched a bit of Julie's game. You know, her semi-final was off quite a bit. And uh, Julie's very comfortable in the corners. You, you can see that. And Katrina probably thinks, well, I know a bit more about the green. I'll, uh, I'll just take her around it and, and see if I can break her lens mm. up and catch her here and there. And it's not a bad tactic, really, but it's not worked at the, the first end. Yeah, Julie's... Uh Julie's game is a uh, is a distance. She likes to reach out. Uh, needs to make a double, Andrew. Run hard, run again. Not sure if it's scrambled in or not. Uh, it looks like it. I mean, you've got to take the chances when you get them. That'll settle her down. You know, probably the first first big final she's been in for some time and. Well, this is the, you know, the biggest game of Julie's career by a long way. She's had a lot of success over the years, but nothing to match a major like this, Andrew. Well, it's nice to get the first end under your belt, get a couple of chokes. They're always the hardest to get. And it'll be Julie that we see heading towards the corners. Probably a lot of adrenaline pumping through the veins. And there'll be a lot of that happening, a lot of balls to fire. Katrina's not short either. This is this will go a long way. Wow, that's a a surprise. Well, I think there's just maybe a bit of nerves playing the part here. Just need to settle down. Repaired it a little bit, but not a good one. You'd expect Katrina to beat that the way she's played. Not good ones by any stretch of the imagination. Don't want to get underneath because it doesn't look at it. Anything within a yard of the jack. Look at it now, fighting the bias. It doesn't want to peg. Should just win it on a length. Yeah, poor end. Well, it's not so bad if you spread them like that and you only go one down, at least uh, you're not giving a double away. Just from our commentary position, we can see Duncan the bookie just... Going out the gate. Running out the gate. I don't know if he's going to a cash machine or trying to make a quick exit, but... I would imagine there's an awful lot of people back Katrina. She was uh, she was almost unbackable from the in the last eight. She was a very short price to begin with. She's not. I'll just put them as close as, as she has been doing. These last few games and and you know Julie should take a lot of confidence from that. She's not standing them all over the jack and <coughs> she just needs to take advantage of the opportunities she gets. She was a good length then, just couldn't get past Katrina as well. Better just inside it might just yeah well still two feet off. Can she get inside that? Uh, Andrew? Yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah, other pegs, you know, not so bad either. Yeah, well she's inside it with this. Just needs a length now. Can't fail. Yeah, good ball, well played. 
and you know yourself if you'd have been playing in the local park those balls wouldn't have been near enough and mm. you wouldn't have had to think twice about it but this is a massive game for these ladies it is I mean Katrina should be you know relaxed really yeah she's going for the record but I mean, she's won everything on here uh, for Julie it's you know let's say a big game biggest she's ever had I think sometimes that that level of favouritism can can weigh heavily. You know, there's a certain level of expectation. You you know, it shouldn't be a game if you look at the the odds. But it's it's not about the odds. It's about how you how you send your balls. And sometimes it's just that little bit of pressure. It just tenses the arm up. You just start pulling the ball across with your fingers, and all of a sudden it's uh, it's a difficult game. Yeah, I just left that a yard. The viewers are again today enjoying this production brought to them by Globe Gig. I mean, I've had a few messages from some of the folks down in Staffordshire who are <laughs> watching this and pretty clean Stafford and Julie's hometown uh, willing her on. Have we had many tweets today, Mel? I've not. Yeah, have we not bothered with one Twitter? Two been on the Twitter, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is a good ball. That's a good ball. She's lying two as well. Looking at the camera, at the uh, monitor. Oh, she's a little bit tighter than her first. A good road, it just needs to run now. Yeah, good saver. I think she's just playing a bit, bit keener ball than Julie as well. That seems to peg an awful lot more compared to Julie's. No, Ju Julie's do. I mean, I've myself played quite a few doubles with uh, Julie, and they're a good pegging ball. Julie's got totally. So I think they were originally a father's ball, John Bradley. Same initials, her maiden name was Bradley. Two JBs. I'm not sure if her father is here today, and you know, I've not seen him in the stadium. He'd be probably hiding somewhere now, John. <laughs> This can't be so bad. This is a good one. Good lead. Very good lead. Plays like that. She won't have much to worry about. I'm not sure where her husband Clive is, but I guess he's probably up the pleasure beach or somewhere. <laughs> now this is what this is about. All about pressure. Julie's putting the pressure on Katrina, making a play up. She'll lose her length. You've got a level of favouritism and you've got you've got your opponent playing good balls. It's a game that supposedly Katrina can't lose, but nobody's told Julie that. Good second. Short, short, won't get there, can't mm. save. No, it's not a Katrina ball uh, at all, is it, Andrew? No. Two more. I think she's just feeling the pressure of favouritism here. Mm. Little smile on the bookie's face as he walks back to the uh, the stand. I don't think I'll be watching match of the day two tonight, Mel. <laughs> You're not? No, I don't think so. Is it uh, finished? Uh, not, uh, the I don't know if it's, I'm hoping it's finished because there's another goal gone in it's now 4-0 I won't be watching it no doubt I'll have Chris Simpson texting me all night as well <laughs> and all them other baggy lunatics oh dear John Crowther, Chief Executive of BCGBA comes from wherever he comes from West Brom fan, how's that work? Just had a text to say that Burnley did well to get nil. Yeah. They're all coming out now. Now then, Julie, that was a not a good lead. You've given Katrina a bit of room as she, as she took the opportunity. Can she pass it? Yeah. Passed it. Still beatable. Good yard off. Can she get in that same bias? She can. She needs to be inside her own ball. She don't want to pass it on the outside. Needs to be on the left-hand side of it. Needs to be inside it now. She's outside it. She won't win. A bit pacey as well. Yeah. I think Katrina might just be getting the two back. 
she gave away. Katrina's turned it over. Playing a thumb peg, it's fairly, fairly straight now. She doesn't want it to peg much. It sits her own ball, it's good. There you go. That's helped. Armpit job. So that's a tweet from Billy State, great supporter of bowls in Staffordshire. See the sh shouting at the screen for Julie. Well, he needs to shout a bit louder. She's not. He's, she's not hearing him, unfortunately. After that end, mm, Katrina's going for plan A in the yeah. corners. This is what I think she should be doing. This is a, this is where she's comfortable. This is where she's confident. Leader football. Julie won't won't like the look of it. Oh, now then, now then, that's not on the same road as the jack. He's working hard to get back, but he'll never come back to it. Never come back. Might even go off. Oh, it's gone a long way, that. Just stuck on. Can't see it. There's a tent in the way, Mel. Now then, Julie. Can you learn from Katrina's lead ball what not to do? She's stuck it on a similar road to Katrina, but she's nowhere near as far. We'll finish a reasonable ball, 18 inch, two feet at the side. Um, good shot. Going a long way here as well. And I think Katrina's routed this as well. Looks a good line coming to us. Yeah, better far better. Now. Far better road, just needs to finish now. Runs a little bit. Can it get there? No. Given up. No, oh, Julie. Got to keep off that. Smack on the road, Katrina's. And she's put it outside. That's not going to hit Katrina's ball. Nearly got another here, Andrew. Yeah, it needs to be another. a length. Needs to stop. It'll go now. Gone. Yeah. Apart from the one bad end, Julie seems fairly relaxed and. But that's how she is. I've known her a long time. She's always very calm. As far as bowls are concerned, it's always been not take it or leave it. That's Julie's attitude oh. to it. Likes to play and get on with it. Not a bad attitude yeah. to have. I, sp I suppose you need that attitude as a Wolves fan, you know. <laughs> Just take it or leave it, wins and losses and all that. But, uh, she's certainly relaxed and settled down. I think that was my worry before the game. Um, you know, big, big final. Will she tense up? Will she show signs of nerves but she certainly hasn't done as yet she's taking the game to Katrina taking her on at, a, at her own game she's not bothered about any any past victories on here it's all about now she's put this down a line perfect just needs to stop pace. just needs to stop go a yard or so we were never off the road it was a better road than the jack to be honest if it had been a length, it'd have finished up balancing on top of it. This is underneath. Yeah, Won't indeed. come up there. Will not come up. They haven't invented a ball yet that'll peg uphill. Julie, just take a yard out. Don't need to alter the land. Looks okay. Road's Makes good. Pace again. Road's excellent. Just taxi now. Taxi, yeah, perfect length, foot at the side. Might look a bit closer to Katrina. Oh, she's just, just hanging on to the road. Is that any further to the left? It would have been underneath. He's trying, needs a length, needs to be a perfect length. Just giving up, I think. I think we saw there that. Katrina's balls are just that little bit stronger. Just showed a bit more bias. Uh, Julie, she's going to bring her back. Changing it. Not sure why she's changing it. Um, well, against uh, Karen Galvin, this is the bias she was coming, but a little bit further, wasn't mm. it? I think she probably meant to go a bit further, actually. I 
find this mark particularly difficult. You can easily spread them. This doesn't look so bad, you know. I don't think she'll want it back. Good lead. Yeah, smack on the road. Yeah. She's playing very, very well. This looks tight. Got to go around the corner. Got to go. Big ball this, if you can get a brace here, 10-3. She doesn't like it. No, followed Katrina's. She has, I don't think, see she's not just pegging as much, a little bit further, it stops. Might have made one, it has made one. I think that's two. And that's what she needed. She couldn't afford to give Katrina a free strike. Now then, Katrina's got to find a dead in here. She's got about 18 inch of room. Road's better. All on a pace now. All on a pace. Can it get past? Good ball. Oh, what a great shot that was from Katrina. She needed it. Yeah, hell of a shot that. She couldn't mm. allow Julie to get away from her. Just Nine or ten three was big score. I just had a message that uh, Julie's good friend Barbara Hughes and Eric Breeze are glued to the, the screen. Seem to think that Julie's dad might also be watching if he is. I'm sure he's got no nails left. Well, Katrina, this is up a road. Looking an inch too far, though. Yeah. She looks a bit flustered to me. She doesn't look as calm and collected as normal. Maybe that fourth time... It's preying on her mind a little bit. It's not short either. No, not a good one. Stayed in. Well, she's took it all out. She's took it all out. No, she hasn't. Oh, Katrina, what's going on? She took her foot out. Really? She'll be a simple one for Julie. Stops any time soon. Anywhere in Blackpool, really. Yeah, and Julie Stuff thinks she thought she was further than that. What? Again, Katrina will be very frustrated with herself there. We were talking last night. I've just uh, spotted Julie's husband, Clive. <laughs> He's uh, behind a shed. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you once get arrested for that, Mel? Hiding behind the <laughs> shed, or is that somebody else? Bike shed, that right, one. Right, right, okay. He's just looked up. He's uh, wiping his brow. Gone back out the gate of the stadium. It definitely was the look of a worried man. <laughs> well, she's well, led another. He should, he no, lead, no need to be worried looking at a lead like that. Great ball. Well, she's not playing like it's uh, someone in the first major final. No, that's incredibly cool and calm. And Katrina's just just feeling the pressure a little bit now. She can't afford to let her get many more in front. I did say last night we were talking about today and I said I felt Katrina was the likely winner, but I did say I felt that Julie's the best lady player never to win a major because I know of her ability and you know she's pulled me through a few doubles in the past and she'll you know, be she playing at won't. these she'll be playing yeah. at these big target yeah there, Katrina big she target I'm going through the gap I think oh two more you know it's not your day when things like that happen yeah well, I'll tell you what it is, Mel. If you pick Julie Alderman out of this field last night to win this, you're possibly the best tipster I've ever met in my life. 
I just felt it. I've said it all along. I've said to Lynn many times. I felt Julie's the best player. Her ability was never won a major competition. Just out of interest, I texted Simon Cope last Monday night and told him he'd win champ of champions. Yeah. And I didn't have a single penny piece on him. Can you believe that? And he texts me back saying, well, I've got a bad knee and I've changed my balls and uh, my head's not right and blah, blah, blah. I can't win it. When Julie started today, uh, she was 20 to 1 and I did say to a couple in Barry Boo, the one, I think she's worth a, a flutter. A flutter. Well, if they took your advice, I'm sure they're very happy men now, 20 to 1. Knowing Barry, you know, he'll have had more than a pound on it. Not a bad lead, that on the mark, you know. It's only two foot off. It's difficult to roll them yeah, there. Katrina stuck it out. Stuck it out. Yeah. Not going to get any nearer now. I think what's impressed me about you, I mean, I've never seen a player before, but she's stroking these balls out lovely. There's... There's very little effort going into them and they're going to, you know, full corners almost. Look at that, beautiful ball. Absolutely superb. Well, it's, this has given Katrina a real problem. What does she do? I think she's thinking of having another fire at it. Well, not I'm not easy, Not easy to save, is it? No, I'm, I'm not sure there's a lot on, I bet. Yeah. yeah fire it. I uh, got a good shot of it there on the monitor. Oh, she likes it. Close. Gap again. Gap again twice. Well. Nine shot lead and eight from home. <laughs> Just keep your composure. Well, I think if she keeps playing like this, the only thing that can stop her is herself. If she sees the winning line too soon, she's just got to forget about the score and just keep playing. Easily said, she's playing very, very well. Stroking these balls out, going, going a good distance, playing well. Very easy delivery. Not a lot to go wrong with it. This won't finish so bad, you know. It's got to trickle a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a yard. That's all. And Katrina, you need to be beating those balls. If you're going to get back in this game, need to be beating them. Need to get past now. Peg a lot. Not looked at it. Probably stuck in, but not a good one. See there, they're both a long way off. Julie needs to be inside her own ball. She doesn't want to pass it outside. Oh, she's big. Was well, she going to rest that ball? Is she going to rest it? Well. Uh, fortunate then. Oh, he's going for you. Yeah, my uh, phone's going berserk. I must have had seven or eight messages from Staffordshire in the last well, five minutes. This has reached, you know. People urging on Julie. This has reached, you know. Might not stop. You can't stop. Surely that front ball's in. It doesn't look it from the monitor here, does it? Yeah. But we're looking, we're looking through the end. That's, that's a better pitch. It gives more of an idea, really. <coughs> yeah, tosses the mat in. That was uh, Katrina's best chance in the last three ends. Yeah, that's the most room she's had. She didn't capitalise. Fourteen four. This is a scoreline you you just could not have predicted. It, it should have been a cakewalk by all accounts, but nobody told Julie. No, you couldn't predict it, but um, I know Julie. I knew it could happen. And she settled in the game early on, and that's important. Yeah, that's she? Got in, in the first major final, she got in straight yeah. away, settled down. Yeah, look at that. Katrina settled. Look at that. Lead. 
Yeah, that's the key. Getting in, settling down early. We we saw yesterday Simon Cope. He just went on the rampage early doors and never looked back from 18-3. This could be a similar scoreline. It's just not happening for her. Well, the bookmaker just said he's head in his hands. I don't know if that's a good sign or that sign, but oh. I'm sure there's not too many who have had wages on Julie today. A lot of people pass... May not have known her so well as the, Look at the this. top liner. She's here again. Look at this. Again. Superb. Line two. Response. Looks tight to me. It's over the bars. Yeah, she's cut it. Gone over the top. Looks like two more to Julie. Can't believe it, can you? Can't believe it. Full of confidence. Calm. First major final. Yeah, Katrina on the pegs. Well, I'll be honest with you, I think she's just having a breather. I think she's just taking time out to recompose herself. Probably to get her head round what's happening. She's wishing she could rewind about 30 minutes. Julie's just got to stay focused, stay calm. Yeah, that ball's certain. One. Two. Two. Slack band. 16-4, Mel. Well, we can't see any way back at the moment for Katrina. Yeah. She massively, she's either got up a game or Julie has got to let the pressure get to her, but Julie doesn't do that. They'll be dancing in the streets of South Staffs tonight if this continues. Well, I'm telling you, yeah. there'll be street parties and all sorts. Yeah. Freedom of Stafford, if there's such a thing. She's stroking these balls out, they're getting them out lovely. If this is on a road, it's a real and not so fat not so bad. Not so bad at all. I mean, them them balls are looking closer and closer and closer to Katrina. Now then. Now then, must win it, surely, surely. No. Oh. It's just not going just for not Katrina. Happening. The two strikes found gaps, and that one she just halved it. What's happened? Clive Alderman still behind the shed. I can see him here shaking his head. Oh, I don't know what's going on here. I don't know what she's getting down on one knee and... Well, I don't think there was any decision given there. Now then, now then, peg heavy. She wants it to peg up the hill. Peg hard, perfect length. Perfect length that, has that made any difference? Don't think so. Now then, Katrina. Now then, what do we say? Can it bend? Can it run? Short. Can't make it. That brown ball surely in on the left-hand side as we look at it. Surely. <laughs> Measures again. Second consecutive end. Is that where you're going, Mel? That Cyprus Festival of Bowls? Yeah, that's the one. Oh, Good nice. advert there for it. Very nice. Third to the 10th of March. £10,000 prize money. Katrina's and, uh, in. Julie and, well. uh, Julie and her husband have already entered that. They're on the way to Cyprus. I know that. I think Katrina's saying to Julie, I didn't think I was in. Oh, There's okay. her husband back out the gate. <laughs> <laughs> Well, 
Katrina is just coming along this west stand edge. Finger peg, bias towards the crown. Simple mark, fairly straight. All about pace now. Good lead. That's more That's like it. it. Good shot. Katrina takes the bow. She realises she's finally found one. Bows to the crowd. Welcome back, Katrina. Yeah. Certainly, she's joined in the game at last. Well, what's Julie doing here? She's just underneath. Just won't look at it now. Good yeah. spot, though. Oh, she's roaded it. It's right up a road, this. I'm going to finish at the side, though. It's like a set of wickets, that. Big target. Same sort of ball. She'll come off that, pick the jack up for two. Well, she That's won't be the ball. Short. Oh, no, Julie, she'll not be short. She's reached. Well, she likes it. She's trotting after it. Any contact's good. Oh, wrong side of it. Well, save one. Katrina will be relieved she got away with that. Other side, she'd have jived off it, picked the jack up too. She's doing the right thing, she's keeping it simple. Putting them close, putting the pressure back on Julie. It's Julie who should be feeling the pressure, not her. She's done this a few times, Julie hasn't. Good lead. Good lead again. Bang in front. Yeah, good ball, Katrina. Now she's starting to play a bit, but is it too late? Well, it's never too late. This game's 21 up, not 16. Now then, Julie. What a good ball that is. Great response. Yeah, good shot. I mean, Katrina really just needs to just play a point. She's all that out. It's finished on the side. Yeah, she's, she's after, after it. it. First time we've seen Katrina running yeah. today. Needs to get up for me. Oh, just thin the ball. It was always underneath. And she's just got to be careful. She doesn't have to do anything silly here. As long as she doesn't ramble into anything. I think he's nearly got another. I think you're right. Great Two. ball. Good shot. Great ball. I think the writing's on the wall, Mel. She's played an absolutely perfect final. She gave Katrina very little chance. And she, she got in the very first end, settled down quickly, sprayed a few about, but after that, never looked back. Not just sent the jack as far as she as she has been. Not a big problem. Look at this. Look at this for a lead. Gonna be okay. Maybe a yard at the side at the most. This can't win it. Can't win it, surely. Can't reach. Just got to keep off that. Miss it anywhere. Pace is good. A little bit too far, if anything. Needs to miss that. Oh, no. Is she done? Well, she was Why is she done? Too heavy. Could well have knocked Katrina in. Oh, the yeah, side ball. Just Julie's in. One. A bit fortunate. A little bit fortunate, that's a good shot. It'll just show the line there. All on the pace, it needs to stop. Needs to stop now. Yeah, good ball. Another one. Not sure what Katrina is going to do now, Andrew. I think she should go to that quick part of the green, just in front of the... Uh, the starting point of the games. Yeah, it's a good move. If, you know, if Julie's got any kind of weakness, it is just on a, a quicker mark. I think she's just got to fiddle her around the green, try and catch her, 
it where where Katrina knows where it runs and Julie probably doesn't. It's all about leading. It's got to lead. It won't finish so bad there, you know. Very easy to send one to fart. I mean, she's not, you know. I think she's nearly played one of you. She has, you know. Needs to stop. Well, run on a bit oh, of the death. Stopped in. Stopped in. Now then, Katrina. Six inch of running. That's all you need. Six inch of running. Further. This is a good ball. Will he stop? Yep. Yeah, good ball. Good Smaller ball. <laughs> now then, Julie. Now then, Julie. Now then, Julie. All it needs to do is finish down that slope. What a good ball. What a great ball. Nice shot. Yeah, good end, that. That's yeah, a good end for Julie. Yeah, she's on the finish. Two away from the British Crown Green Ladies Champion of Champions title. First prize of £300. Her husband's still outside by the shed. Last time I saw him, he was giving, being given mouth to mouth. Is that what that? Is that what Lynn was doing? <laughs> I did wonder. If Julie wins it, he'll be through this gate in a flash. <laughs> That's what we need, you know, a few streakers. I think you should volunteer next time. Well, it's not a bad length. It's just just not on the road. Shouldn't be near enough, but uh, who knows at this late stage. This is a better road. Better road. Length looks okay. Can it finish down this hill? Look at it. Look at it. Won it. <coughs> now then, Julie. <laughs> Tighter line, same length, it's a real one. Bit of a slippy, slidey mark, this to do all sorts. I think he's lying. You two, think that's two? I think it's two from here. Okay. She lies up. Well, that's all you can for do. Me. Well, Katrina. Well, Katrina. Have you reached? Have you reached? Needs to finish. Has done. Good ball. Yeah, a lot of pressure there. on that ball. Yeah. yeah, you're right, Mel. It was two. You knew. I'm a just a guesser. No, no is it, uh, what Katrina going to do? Is it last resort? Oh, right in, in the him. corners. Right in him. She's asked a good friend, Kerry, where she should go. Kerry said, I'll go and start the car for you. I just go as far as you far as you can, Katrina, and see what happens. Well, Julie hasn't played deep into the corners, has she? No, um, she she's only really played just, three quarters. But the danger of trying to get the jack deep into apex is is losing it, isn't it? Well, does it matter at this yeah. stage? No, she's dead in for it anyway. Nineteen eight. Does it matter if you send the jack off? A bit different at twenty apiece. Oh, Julie will know this land. This is the uh, she's going. Uh, Left-hander's finger bias. This is where she was playing early on. Each game Julie's played, she's been on this mark. Knows exactly where to put them. Well, I'll tell you what, this is right up a road. If this is a length, this is a front toucher. Don't worry about that. It's a better road than Jack. That's a real and Good ball. <laughs> Might not be near enough, really, against Julie, the way she's been playing. She's been... Liable to lick this ball, and I'll tell you what, she's right up the road here. She's ra really up the road. She misses it, missed that ball. What's happened? He won off it. Gone out. Just gone out. Just it needed to miss Katrina's ball, and it had the jack full. Now then, Katrina, I hope you've tried to get another, because you need to. 
just tight, I think. Yeah, she just nipped the land slightly. Just nipped. Oh, Julie. Nothing for sure. On Katrina's ball. Yeah. Game for ball for the, game. You got the title. There's a oh, it's not come out so well. Bumped out. That's the first one she's bumped out. She's having it's a on a, after it. It's on a good road. I don't think she's far enough though. I didn't get it away, so it's no. I think maybe just a little bit of nerves yeah. kicked in. She seemed to get away very, very quickly. Needs to compose herself again. Perfect road for the job she wanted, but uh, probably four or five yards short of pace. And all Katrina will be thinking about is the next end, counting the next end, getting double figures, making it look a bit more respectable. She could, if she get to 15, who knows? Yeah. It's, a, it's a different matter now. You're playing right in these corners. There's not a lot past that, Jack. Maybe another th three yards that's playable. I think she might have wanted to set the mark a little bit further. I think so, but... If she leads one within a foot of the jack here, she won't bother. Well, what, four feet off? Just lacking a road, really. This is tighter. This is tighter, too tight. Yes, not on land. Not on land at all. Now then. Now Katrina you must improve. Need to find one, Katrina. <laughs> Better road. Nipped it a touch. Not going to be any nearer than the first, Andrew. No. No, she'd nipped it a touch. Big Didn't opportunity again here. Now then. Give it more to do. Needs a length. Wins it on a length. Can't fail on a length. Yep, all the chicken dinners. Tried to go out. Bit of a delayed reaction from the crowd there. 20. One more for the biggest win of Julie's career. Just needs to hold it together. Oh, she's sending it straight back to where she come from. I don't think she'll send it just as far though. Mm -hmm. Right down the spine. Doesn't want to get outside it. Now then, perfect length and it's a front toucher. Just go a yard maybe. Let's go a yard. Now then, Katrina. This now looks, then. This looks quick. Looks there's quick. Some, there's something wrong with it. Tight as well. Apart from that, I think it would have been all right. And Julie needs to improve. I'm sure that'll be good enough. Let's take a yard out. I think she might have just given this a bit too much to do, you know. Yeah, stuck it out. Right for man, stuck it out. Now then. Now then, what's Evelyn? Oh, oh. oh. well. Well, the referee says Katrina's in. Who would have thunk it? Who would have thought that? Certainly from our position up here, the... Uh, Katrina's put this right down the ladder. Yeah, well. yeah. the length. If she's one, she'll be two. Yeah, well, she's going to sit that ball anyway, just to make certain. <laughs> Eleven twenty. Well, we've seen people come back from this, but she's going to have to really up again, Katrina. Well, they're in the same street, Mel. Oh, no, they're not. It's just 20, isn't she? 11 20, they're not in the same street at all. Five good ends of balls, you know. That's the way she's got to look at it. Yeah. At this moment, she'll just want one good end to start with. Yeah, yeah. Underneath the line. Needs to bend its back now. Bend its back and stop a length. 
It's just going to go too far, I think. It's gone a yard. Shouldn't be good enough. Just this, this one's a length. It's perfect road. Perfect road. Wins. Yeah, wins it all week. Well, that could be the one that wins the title. It could be the one now, Katrina. Well, will she just try just and rest it, or will she think, oh, strike at it? But if she strikes, she needs to take the jack off the green because yeah. Katrina's ball's not good enough, is it? Mm. No, she's firing. Not sure that's the right ball, but who knows? If she hits yeah. it, it doesn't matter. Mm. But She's got to hit the jack, not the ball. She has. Well, on the well she's tight. She's missed, missed it. it. Missed it. That's it. It's all over. 21-9 victory for Julie Alderman. And well-deserved, Andrew, wasn't it? Yeah, she's played the best of, of anyone in that final. That was a superb display of final bowling. She just settled very quickly, played with full confidence and an absolutely fully deserved winner. Uh, Katrina didn't look at the races, really. Maybe the pressure of being a four-time winner just just uh, held her back a little bit, but you can't take anything away no, from Julie. I mean, she Julie was superb. Just, just played like it was a, a game in the park, in Victoria Park, yeah, on a Saturday a, afternoon. Absolutely brilliant performance. I mean, to many people, this will be a shock result, but to me it's not a shock. It's just perhaps an upset because um, I know very well and everybody in Stafford knows very well uh, what Julie's ability is.